And we're live. Oh, what? Are we live? Are we back? Oh, is this Damn the, it! Is this the real life, Pedro? Is I'm this just fantasy? <laughs> oh, if this is just fantasy, I want to wake up. <laughs> Can't and escape wake from up. reality? Bad touch. <laughs> Call my gentlemen. name and save me from the dark. <laughs> Boys and girls, welcome back to the... Whoa, we're not doing that. We just finished the uh, video version for uh, the pre pre super shows, and so fill time for me, gentlemen, while I find that graphic that I just added. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> I, I, th I, think, I think we need to have a Superman Batman movie where they're just like standing there grimacing at each other, and then you just hear zip. And then their penises touch. Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> so if you're just Pretty tuning sure in for the first like time, Orin's this isn't a uh, comic book men people. Nay, this is uh, <laughs> a little bit of a pre-show before we get warmed up to go into it. Where we talk about uh, Linux gaming. Uh, welcome, fellow Linux users who also play games. Maybe if you're new to Linux, we'll probably confuse the f***ing all out of you. But hey, man, it's a fun <laughs> ride, this nightmare train. This is going to pull off the motherfucking station. Hello, Jill. <laughs> Happy Saturday. What's wrong with you? It's a crappy <laughs> Saturday. It's already Sunday. <laughs> Maybe. It's not, it's not Sunday for another three and a half hours. What are you talking about, Pedro? <laughs> it's been Sunday for an hour and a half. <laughs> Sunday's not no. a planet, Jordan. Sunday's the people. I might have watched Thor Ragnarok this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought Sunday was a dessert. It, people dessert. Come on, bring it. <laughs> no, D depends depends what type of iced cream you're talking about. Hey oh <laughs> there we go. Yellow Reese's. ice cream. <laughs> Don't eat the yellow ice cream. Uh, that's not the cream I'm talking about, baby. I know you're talking about whipped cream. You yeah, like like human milk whipped cream. Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, only, it's only diabetes if you overindulge. Yeah, you, you gotta do it in moderation. Diabetes. <laughs> another day, another dog. That's right. One of my favorite characters. I was handing out pamphlets. No one came. Oh, I forgot to hand out pamphlets. No one showed up. It's pretty shit revolution. Yay, Jill. What, 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 what does Steve have to do with Linux? I don't know. Apparently, Steve was the one that had the interview with Big Daddy Linux. That's yeah. what I got from that one. That, 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 that's, that's, okay, Pedro, you and I are on the same page. That's, that's what I understood as well. <laughs> Commas, man. Really? Are you with us this week, brother? Yeah, you are. Destiny, oh. Destiny. What do that, we think that of has Code a Linux Vane? build now for Stadia, but Pedro. not for not for the rest of us. Code Vein is supposed to be Souls like. Yeah, I, I was watching the Jim Sterling review of it. It's apparently Dark Souls with anime titties. Yes. <laughs> hmm. It's the vampire one, and it's um, uh, was it? I don't know if it was this one specifically that came out for the consoles first, but I think this is the one. And now it's on Steam as well. Hmm. I'd never heard of it. And like, Steam was like, yo, play this game. I'm like, no. <laughs> Very short conversation between me and old Steam. When I could get on it because it went down for like 15 oh, yeah. minutes and the world ended. I mean, I don't, I don't see how a comma would save that one though. I think that's just a poorly phrased sentence, or just an accurate <laughs> yes. description of what they're gonna do with a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see, I don't see how a comma is gonna save that one. Yeah, you you want to imagine that they just used the wrong font and homelessness. Oh, they, yeah, yeah, just, just got cut off. Yeah, or something. <laughs> they said that the thing was going to be like another 500 pixels to the right. Either that or you call them up, they're like, no, no, we got change. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you, you know those fuckers saying eat the rich? No, we're going to eat them first. We're going to eat the poor first. It's a modest proposal all over again. <laughs> we're going to take homeless people and we're going to cut them in half. 
Listen, the easiest way to solve homelessness and world hunger is to feed the homeless to the hungry. <laughs> no, man, you got to eat all the rich people. I mean, yes, you should eat the rich. 100%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not entirely sure how that would shake out in the end, but it'd be interesting. <laughs> well, you, what, what's, what's, the, what's the disease right. you get from eating a bunch of human meats? Uh, movie tropism. No, it's it's like it's like a human equivalent of mad cow. You, you don't get the human. You you don't get that. Uh, you think like trigonosis or some shit like that. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, you, what you get if you fuck up and eat the brains of the same yeah. species, and that's not just like a human thing. This. Yeah. 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 You're, you're, there, 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 there is a reason that cannibalism is discouraged. Eating what you have, what you're made out of, is not necessarily the best thing for you. <laughs> All right. Can we, do, can we just do some ground rules for night? Just tonight only, no eating people. Cannibalism, bad. Uh, it's a little too late for that, Ven. Oh, man. <laughs> Trichidosis, I, I, it's, not, it's us. Medical advice from your favorite Linux gaming uh, host. Podcast, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're not doctors, but we're going to speak authoritatively on the subject anyways. Welcome to the Speaking internet, Speaking from kids. experience there, Foxy. <laughs> Quit doing your Reddit impression. <laughs> Stage of spine oh, so so tr yeah, trichinosis is from pork, but can also occur in bear and dog meat. We need man bear dogs, then we can have like a bear duck and <laughs> of trichinosis. No. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, don't don't they sell man bear dogs down at like Yankee Stadium? Probably. <laughs> man bear pig dog. <laughs> Somebody was talking about. Oh, I like pickles on the hot dog. It, it was like some northern state style i'm like nah man it's not somebody just likes pickles in their you don't have to say it's a style oh i should have posted a picture of the pizza i made today you made a pizza uh, it yes it, it it would have pissed off the internet <laughs> so <Why>? much because <laughs> it's just it was just a mayo pizza did, did, did you red. cover the crust and frosting again no no um it, i did like the base was like tomato sauce and a little bit of cheese and then i put tuna banana and a little bit of cream and more cheese on top oh so you made a finished pizza is what you did <laughs> they, 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 they like bananas on their pizza for some fucking reason you see i was like the internet's gonna forgive the tuna but when you got a banana it was like no you're dead man like, the out for that. <laughs> no that's a, that's a shade too far man <laughs> See, I never make those pizzas while Nori's here because she doesn't like either tuna or banana in pizza. Be be because she's gonna like console and Gretel you and like cram you in the oven with the pizza. Right. For seeing that shit. It's Pedro's alone time. It's this. It's this personal Pedro pizza. Personal Pedro it, pie. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> it kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I blame my mom. She was the one that started throw, putting throw your um, sweet loving mom under the bus right on the <laughs> live in front of everyone like, come on she's the one who uh put bananas in pizza and i thought oh this is pretty good like yeah <laughs> so yeah <laughs> okay fake news paper clipping um you've been picked up on crimes against something culinary british <laughs> I, I know i know that's a stretch i know what i'm doing gordon, gordon ramsay just like kicks in your right. door with like, with like a tenderizing <laughs> hammer just starts like going to town on your head here's johnny <laughs> it's rotten <laughs> what am i i'm an idiot sandwich chef <laughs> right i've never seen that guy irl in video or anything like that but I, i'm familiar with him from the memes on the internet yes yeah. Yeah. My, my my favorite Gordon Ramsay bit was with like him and James May eating that uh, hot oh. Carl like the fermented shark. Never mind, I have seen them. Yes, I've seen that clip. Yep. Yeah, and and like Ramsay just bitches out, and James May just like, you disappoint me, Ramsay. <laughs> Dude, it, it was it was the best delivery I've seen out of James May. It was amazing. You you disappoint me. Oh, fermented shark. Nah, I'm good. It just tastes like fish. <laughs> Apparently, like urine, effectively, man, because all the um... <laughs> the ammonia, yeah. yeah. Well, apparently, the, there, there's some other weird foods too, where it's like the smell is actually worse than the taste. I think I think durians like that, where it just stinks. 
but like it yeah that's it one thing taste as strongly as the smell yeah the I, 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 even the taste it's really not worth it it yeah, doesn't I, taste I just, as bad as it smells but it it's not worth it yeah I uh I don't, I don't really like durian I've tried it it's not my, my yeah uh, yeah man I've never I, I, here's what I'm scared of everyone I'm scared and like even though it just like wrecks the house it's like making a yellow curry where like you know you made yellow curry like a week later if you leave the house for a few hours and come back you're like I'm scared it would wreck the house like that and I would love it <laughs> then you're gonna be that guy that smells like that all the time <laughs> all right we got a show to do I feel called out by that Mr. Foxdog <laughs> Too real. <laughs> Too real. Oh, hang on. I gotta retune this reverb just a little bit. Oh, can we auto tune the Steam Linux update of the week? <laughs> Do it again, Pedro. <laughs> hey? <laughs> Let me take a look at. The band looks at the top, keeping heads past present feet. Try just now reading that paragraph. All right, let's let's, no. let's try that again. <laughs> that was perfect. Just, just keep going like that. It's, it's fine. <laughs> just, just 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 syncopate words. Hope for the best. If if I get enough of them out there, you might be able to organize them into a coherent sentence at some point. It might take you a year or two. <laughs> like some voyage manuscripts, like uh, random characters. Yes. I would really, I would really like to like know what the fuck was up with the Voyage manuscript. <laughs> I just, I just would. I'm reasonably com convinced it was some sadistic fuck like us. It's like this is gonna fuck with some people in a Oh yeah, I'm, that's too, some right. some monk in the 17th right. century just Bored. like no one's gonna fucking yep. understand this. And he just shoots himself <laughs> in the head. We're family show, ladies and gentlemen, so hide your adults. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> okay, let's get on. Let's... Shot, shot, shots. Hey, Joe. Shot, shot, shot. Oh, look, it's a beer shot. <laughs> oh, <that was laughs> Damn it. There. And... Oh, okay. <laughs> Suffering. So, player. Now, where is... There we go. Urgh. Wait. Did I do that? I gotta quit moving stuff. You guys need to stop me from moving things. <laughs> Why did you move things? Back. <laughs> Self-hatred. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna stop you for that. <laughs> Alright. So the Twitch stream geeked. And I'm sad. What? Oh, models. Oh. All right. Uh, I think everything is together. Are we ready to do a show, everyone? Yeah. Yay. Nay. Maybe. No. All right. Ness. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I got faith in you, man. <laughs> to not do a show. Come on. <laughs> Let me pull this together. And... Pedro, if you could change it from pre-shows and on Twitch to... Regular shows. Yeah. 
Jesus. Thank you, sir. There. Yay. Using the power of science. <laughs> Twitch update on smart TV. Man, you're getting there, Jill. By the end of the night, you'll have that complete sentence shit down. I got faith. I got faith. You're, you're, you're Maddie's spirit animal this evening. Yeah, where is Maddie tonight? <laughs> Remind me to cut the um, music on, hate mail. Thank you. Rolling my own router. Um, I'll take the problem with the rolling my own router is trying to make one that's low power. That. I want to keep it in the, like, 30 watt. You can get one of those enterprise. Oh, enterprise I had Jordan arts. muted. That's why it was so quiet. <laughs> I, I figured as much. I was, I was, I was curious if that was going to come off at some point. I honestly forgot. <laughs> and I was like, it is way too what? Oh, there we go. All right, my bad. That was on me. Okay. Uh, all right, people. In three, two. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux giving news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with this week. Well, the latest news on the Linux powered Atari VCS. We got, some, yeah, that console. Yep, it's not good, but we got to talk about it. And the Top Steam releases of August. A couple of them run Linux. Steam has an official AUR. Oh, God, I can hear the screaming from here. Arch. And how long can LGC resist a bad semi-racist Japanese impression? One game aims to find out. Valve updates Half-Life 2 to give NPCs the ability to blink. And gaming on the Raspberry Pi 4. Much better than it used to be. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly. I'm Vince Stewart, and here at LGC Actual in beautiful, beautiful downtown Athens, switching the bits, doing the nightmare fuel all under Linux on all ends. As always, joined every week by our tame, the Canadian snowflake, one Jordan Sfang. We're trying to get him under some UV light for amusement and laughter. And forever alone edition, Pedro, very rare, with his banana tuna fish pizza. Yes. That, that 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 was my dinner. Because you're a damn monster. <laughs> and together with you at home in chat room, joining us live, helping us form a nut tuna and banana flavored cocaine Voltron. Before we get started, we like to see what's going on. The horrible, horrible decision in each other's life organs. And Pedro, um, we, we need that boot update, man. That's what the internet's been screaming about that. Well, uh, the boots are on their way. They'll arrive on Monday, I think. They, the, the DHL sent me a text. It's like, yeah, we'll be there on Monday. They're like, all right, mm. fine, whatever. So, yeah, on Monday, there shall be boots, hopefully. Are you Don't trying to me communicate that you're over it? You're like, no get here. <laughs> I'm not over it. I want the goddamn boots. I want them <laughs> real bad. But, yeah, I, um, the reason I'm forever alone right now is because uh, I went to drop Nori off at the train uh, earlier today. Because she's going on a field trip with her um, university. Oh, that's fantastic. She gets to Portugal. go on a... Damn, I was going to set you up for a joke, but fuck you. All right. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're going there to draw, like, uh, all the monuments and everything else. Uh, so, Both yeah. Both of them. It, it's Lisbon. There's there's a few. It's like the capital that they have to overcompensate for. Because, you know, it's Portugal. It's the rest of the country. Really not that good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I figured, you know what? Let's just go all the rest of the way into town and get myself Raspberry Pi 4, the 4 gigabytes of RAM version, because, yeah, if you're going to get one of these, this is the one you get. And I got a chance to test it earlier, and yes, it does do um, 3840 by 2160 at like 15 FPS, to be generous. <laughs> Quit bragging. Jordan, what's new with you, baby? <laughs> Uh-huh. No, I've just been busy at work. Um no, nothing really exciting, just trying to get shit done. 
and then I come home and I sleep. That, that's my life. It's very sad. You I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure John. I'm pretty sure John Lennon wrote like a really depressing song about it. Yeah, Life of Tiles. Oh Something man, like that. <laughs> that'd be good. Really, over here, don't you see actual? Uh, been playing around with. I'm going crazy trying to figure out how to do the network thing, and I'm trying to pour, you know, a gallon yes into a shot glass full of a brain, trying to figure out the networking stuff. I suck at net. Are you good? At, either of you any good at networking stuff? We're talking yeah. like manage switching. I can BS my way through it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, see, I, I can. I can stack exchange my way through this. I know that. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I took here. enough. I took enough Cisco courses in college that I have a decent grasp on it. See, this is. I have ICDN one. Does that count? <laughs> Maybe. I, I. I'm just here. I'm engaging. Who's who? I'm going to bug more in the upcoming future. <laughs> empty. Empty. Probably. Hey, I empty. Pretty much. Yeah. We love you. Um, outside of that, not a whole lot. We figured out that uh, our website is now running on HTTPS version three. It's one of the first sites. Didn't expect that from our podunk little show, but. Hey, cloud players, like you're in it now. And I'm like, what can I use it? Oh, I did learn this. The only way you can test it is with Chrome Canary. I was like, okay, I'll just, I, Chrome Canary, that's, I'll get another Chrome browser only available for Windows. I'm like, what? How? Yeah. That, did you have it, to it, build it, it from source to get it on Linux? I didn't toy with it because they're like, hey, man, you can access it with curl too. And I'm like, you know what? I don't, I don't care. As long as nothing's broken, I'll deal <laughs> with it like we deal with a horse each and yeah. every week. Yeah, the horse isn't moving at gigabit speeds lately. I think it's gone to back down to like 10 base T. It's the Steam Lags! Y'all dead! It's over the <laughs> Come on, browser. You can do it. Yay! All right. There it is. <laughs> Top Steam releases. Store. Let's do it. August 2019, people. It's Thing, and there's some Linux in them, 100%. Uh, anything in here that really blew your minds? I saw that. Dicey Dungeons. That was good. I was very mm-hmm. happy to see that. And uh, what else was in here? Uh, Ion Fury. Ooh, Ion Fury was in here. So yeah. Did we get anything else? I know Metal Wolf XD is not a Linux game because I remember no, it's seeing not, it, that. It, it looked really fun. It looks fun. like it should be. It looks like yeah. it should be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but un- unfortunately, no. I mean, yeah, not, not the biggest fan of uh, promoting Ion Fury these days, but it's nice to see that there are some Linux representations in these... Um, in these sorts of articles that Steam is pumping out just to suck as much developer dick as possible to stem the bleeding of people accepting epic money. It's a better love story than old Steam. It's true. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, that's something we need to talk about. I think everybody experienced it, man. Uh, As a recording earlier today for like, what, maybe 30 minutes, Steam was down, but the outage only affected Earth. But yes. (laughs) <laughs> every single server was like that, oh 503 offline really <laughs> wasn't that I, the, I, the, it worried the, me a little bit simply because like wait the whole thing can die you know yeah. i i since it's been I, i've seen parts of steam go tits up i've just never seen you know 100 percent nopage i mean yeah. I, I, I was i was taking a nap through that entire thing so yeah, I, we, I we brought it up it in the previous super shows and it was like what's terminal's down and i was like yeah have a good nap like, yeah, I'm pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here's what I recommend. When Steam goes down, just take a nap. It'll be better when you wake up. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Science. <laughs> Clyde Beta? Yeah, the, Clyde there's, Beta. there's a new one. <laughs> That's the it, it Stops the Steam new library from eating as much dick as it does? Mm, question mark? Kind of a big question mark. The only thing that's <laughs> Linux specific on this is the uh, GPU crashes and overlay corruptions with games that were using Vulkan Async Compute with like, you know, mm-hmm. Doom 2016 and stuff like that. But they said, hey man, you know, we're working on remote play, playing around with Steam input, and they've done a couple of things with the new library. Uh, but I tried it. This is how, how are you guys dealing with the beta? Because is this, every time I see an update that mentions, hey man, maybe we've unfucked something, I bounce over, then I go, what? okay, if I if I click between store and library like six times, sometimes it comes back up, then it doesn't. And then something else will get, and it's like, nope, I need it's to break been, that It's been relatively solid for me. I think I'm getting to the point where like my initial rage towards something that I'm used to changing has subsided, and I'm just in the adjustment period right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like it, 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 it's fine as it stands. All, all the old shit I looked at, at on the old library page is still there. I just gotta change where I click. I still think it's a bit too shoddy because going back to the standard client, and I'm like, I, this is me too. If you've seen any 
thing I very Spartan. It's like, it's functional. I like functional. This works. It's like, no, you need more whoosh and wish and 40% CPU spikes that I don't notice with a red rubber. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> but yeah, man, what, what do you say to that, Pedro? Because I've seen you, uh, I think, or Ethereum, complete, like, man, this big, you, it's like, have you ever scrolled in Chrome? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't spike up to 40% and it's worse in Firefox when you say have uh, Google Docs open. Mm. It, it, it'll spike up to the 40s easily. Uh, but yeah, the I kept the beta because it's still working. It's still as jack as it was um, at the beginning. So yeah, it, and I kind of like the new layout. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the ability to infinitely scroll and look at like the community posts. So if there's like a bug that I ran into and I start scrolling down and I see a thread with the name of that bug, I'm like, okay, cool. That I'm running into that. Nice. <laughs> I again, I like being able to group games by you know things I haven't played. Um, games mm -hmm. with online multiplayer. I'm like, that's a filter. That's handy to dig out. But that's a depressing filter too, because like there are a lot of games in our libraries that should have online multiplayer that don't. Yeah. Well, that's mm -hmm. that, that, that's just how peeps roll, man. Um, <laughs> but our, our, our libraries can be expanded through the magic that is Proton. Indeed. Yes. Um, they got a little itty bitty proton update. Uh, this is 4.11.6. Um, You're not yeah, joking. They, they, yeah, they, all right. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it, was, it was so itty bitty. I, I, I saw I, that. I, I I'm like... zoom in. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. So they, they, they've updated uh, to the latest version of DXVK. We're going to be talking about that in the news section. Apparently, there's some inconsistent reports of GTAV working um, just via vanilla proton. I know, I know that Strider has had that fixed under Lutris for a while. But for the people who want the press play and go experience that proton is supposed mm -hmm. to offer um th this is probably a worthwhile did. fix yeah mm -hmm. um but again pe some people are saying that it's launching some people are saying it's not so maybe there's some additional issues that need to get sorted out but it looks like it's moving in the right direction yeah i definitely got to roll back to what we said earlier about any type of online game I'm like get yeah, you're just rolling the dice Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the problem here isn't even the game itself, because, yeah, the game client is still the same. It's that stupid launcher that Rockstar has tacked onto the game that they changed, and it broke not just the Proton compatibility, it broke the game for a bunch of people on Windows, too. Well, it's Rockstar, so, so they're sitting back going, how much <laughs> of this bullshit will people pull up with? We make our own launcher like everyone else, and no one can use it. Yeah, <laughs> and as it turns out, GTA V is a very profitable game for them, so the moment that they launched that new uh, launcher and it blew back in their faces, things started moving very quickly to try and fix it. Hmm. So yeah, chances are it'll be back working with Proton in no time because, yeah, they're going to fix it on Windows too. <laughs> well, they're going to have a tough time fixing it on Linux if it's running Arch and Oh my god! Scott. So, this 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 came up on uh, our Linux underscore gaming, uh, and I thought it was interesting. Apparently, people have been scraping the repo.steampower.com and found a little folder called Arch! And what's inside? <laughs> what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, it's, it's the, um, oh, it's the yeah, ACO Mixa so. and the uh, FC kernel forks for optimum performance for your uh, proton games so spool up the rampant speculation drive yep. fam we're gonna hit plaid right <laughs> um <laughs> odd, odds are odds are valve just put this up because you know there are some people probably testing internally um using arch as a moving target is actually probably a little better in terms of testing some of the more bleeding edge features um, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe we're, maybe we're actually going to be starting to see some official valve sanction support for Arch Linux. It would be nice to see it for some other distributions as well. Maybe they're just rolling out Arch because when something goes wrong, they will generate the most noise. Um, I no. have a different take. Ooh. I think they're using it to test F-Sync because if you want something that's going to be rolling the latest and greatest kernel without any effort on your part, Arch is a very good place to start. Not just the kernel, but everything else around it, too. It's the bleeding edge, right? right. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, and pl plus, you know, having the Mesa with the ACO compiler prepackaged with all the... the well, well, again, this is, this is all stuff we're going to talk about in the news nope, section. Nope. You just cause... confirmed Arch is the new distribution <laughs> yeah, I'll, for I'm Steam. Yeah. I, I, put that, I put that down as, like, my rundown joke, and I'm like, I made that exact joke last week. I gotta, I gotta change it. I gotta... <laughs> Be a little more original <laughs> than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you know, yeah, if, if, you, if you want to play, oh, go on. 
No, Go it's on. uh it it actually does make sense if you look at the popularity of like Manjaro. Uh it's doing very well and there are a lot of people it's like, ooh, really up to date packages and it's reasonable enough to install and reasonable enough to keep working. Uh so and since Valve is clearly you know, they, they don't really care about Steam OS anymore, it it makes sense that they would use something that's current and up to date to test things. Well, I mean, if you, if you want to play games on your cell phone, you know, they have a thing for that too, don't Dude. they? Well, that they do, uh, and it's uh, they've really optimized for remote play, or at least that's what they're aiming for, because they found a few games where the developers actually took the time to implement the uh, Steam input API properly. Are you so desperate and... to play a game that you're willing to go through this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe you're playing something like Stardew Valley or Nino Kuni, and then you realize, man, I gotta take a dump, but I don't want to stop playing. Well, so it, it's just, interesting yep. that you bring up Stardew Valley because they do state that they had to, you know, it's difficult to get something that's typically played with a keyboard um, to squish down to a mobile mm -hmm. interface, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, Stardew Valley is one of the ones that they bring up as a fine example of implementing the Steam, a uh, Steam input a API properly, because yes, they have managed to create the little UI icons that indicate exactly what you need to, uh, or where you need to press on screen to do a certain thing. And they're incentivizing uh, other developers doing that, and they have basically put together a hundred uh, configurations, default configurations for the Steam remote uh, input for a hundred games. That's significant. And with more developers uh, putting Steam input into their games and allowing those games to be played anywhere, just like Jordan said, you need to take a poop, you grab your phone, away you go. Uh, now we just need more games on Linux proper, I guess. To ask you, like, the true, true, Jordan. Um, the, the true, true about the poo-poo? Yeah. Are you, are you grabbing a mobile phone? Because it feels like if you do that, you want that in there because you have your Switch, but you also want to check Reddit. I, usually, as a personal point, I, I will make the decision before I squat down to take a dump whether I want to play a game or... Browse Reddit. Usually, usually, if I'm already playing the game, it's going to be the game. Mm -hmm. And if I'm just like derping around cooking, well, doesn't or, that like... add like a little bit of a hard mode, dude? That would imply that you're already playing on your mobile yeah. device. Well, I, I already, I already play. Well, I, I guess the question was posed for Switch, so I was just assuming you're talking about that. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I personally don't actually use the uh, Steam Remote Play all that much. Hundred um, percent. I tried it. It launched. I'm like, that's. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, neat. Hundred percent. It, 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 it but, worked. Yeah, yeah. I play, I, play, I played a bit of uh, Tides of Numenera on my tablet. It it definitely did the thing. But I have the switch for playing video games on the toilet. But if you don't have a switch, this is a reasonable solution. Indeed. All right. I and as long as two. you have fast enough internet, it'll work. Yes, Half Life Two works yes. with fast internet. It does, tell, and tell that it's to the worked synergy devs. with slow internet for the past 15 years, but uh, yeah, the fine folks at uh, Valve have decided, you know what, that game, what we never released the ending of, needs a bit of an update. Mm -hmm. And admittedly, most of it seems to be geared towards the VR experience, uh, like uh, fix Steam VR running um, when entering the settings menu. Uh, they've also... Fixed NPCs not blinking. I'm not joking. That's something that Valve wrote. All I'm hearing is that it update. has taken four years to eradicate the code base of Weeping Angels. <laughs> Pretty much. Science. <laughs> I kind of want someone to go into the game and find the Weeping Angel Easter egg that Valve put in there. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. I didn't. I, I didn't ever. Uh, I, I didn't know they blinked. In the first place, I, this is not something they I, didn't, they didn't. I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> I, I, I'm sure this stemmed from a complaint of like, I can't play Half-Life 2 anymore. The NPCs are staring at me. They're judging me. They know my name. Either that or like Gaben sat down to like, he's like, I haven't fucked around with this in a minute. And he's like, why are they blinking? I'm like, oh, crap, he noticed. All right, we need to go fix this. <laughs> yeah, no, as, as it turns out, all the devs who worked on Half-Life 2 have their, had their eyelids removed, so they Clock can't blink anyways. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I saw us. this as I was going to bed yesterday. It's like, 
Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Shout outs. <laughs> Have you ever thought about, you know, traveling to a distant planet, maybe um, taking a protein pill? No, I, I, I always thought about it would be really sick if I just shot a bunch of cars into space. Oh, you, you're right, baby. Elon on Mars. <laughs> the star man has finally reached its goal. And listen, all right, first off, this thing's like 59 cents, but fuck it. We're going to talk about it. Um... You, serious you, games you guys SRS you, games. you might know man elon like sent his tesla into space you know it's pr stunt whatever spacex but still great one in orbit around so you effectively get to fly like hover tesla and just blow things up when, when is the tesla update that enables the laser guns gonna get pushed out man. <laughs> yes <laughs> this is dumb because we know what's in there elon come on, come on. why not <laughs> fire um, phasers beep, beep, beep. SRS games. What does it take to run? It's a, it's a, it's a bit of is this meme? It, 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 it requires <laughs> not DXVK. A gig to of run. RAM and a DirectX 10 compatible graphics card on Linux. That's doable. I think we can swing that, man. Yeah. <laughs> There's no multiplayer on that though, so you can't have like car wars on Mars. Oh, that'd be great, man. That would in the um, electric Porsche could go at it. Yeah, it'd be great. And you know, the Tesla would like break out on the new Invergreen. Oh. And, then, and then like a giant Prius is the final boss. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Okay. Little misfortune. Uh, little miss, little miss, little miss fortune. Yeah. Um, can't be fortune wrong. Can't be fortune. Can't be, <laughs> can't can't be fortune <laughs> wrong. But just go in there and scream that to a fortune reader, man, and see how long until the cops show up. <laughs> they should. Well, they really should have seen that coming. Anyways. um, Yeah. So little misfortune. It's a uh, adventure game. Um. So this this one came into the notes after the next one, which gets a little weird. Uh, so so let, let's break it down. So this is a heavily narrative focused game. Uh, you walk around a bunch. You make a couple of binary you choices, man. That oh man, you, mm -hmm. you you scream, you eat sandwiches. This is basically my life. I just eat sandwiches and scream. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you, you make some binary choices here and there. Uh, a lot of the reviews are basically saying, like, this has very strong visual presentation. It has very strong writing. But the gameplay is kind of lackluster, and that's where it kind of falls apart. Um, but like the next one. Okay, um, we're going across the river sticks. It just got my attention. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> like, oh it, she it, did. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 look, it looks like it's, oh, it's all cute and shit. Look, it's Baphomet. Everyone loves Baphomet. Um... <laughs> But yeah, it it, it it look it looks sufficiently dark, but with 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 the veneer of cute, and I think I think that's where Man, it's getting a lot of like the like forgiveness Bruce from. Bruce Willis seeing dead people. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. But yeah, like much much like the next one though, there's a little bit too much focus on the visual presentation, and that's where a lot of the user reviews tend to fall off. Is like, yeah, it's it's nice looking, it's nice, it's well acted, it's well written, but I'm, I'm, there's not really much for I'm you to do. Taking this, bring this back, demos. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, I mean, Steam refunds basically <laughs> makes every game a demo, right? Yeah, until, um, until they cut your ass off because you're abusing. It's 19.99 if you want to play around with it. Uh, it looks incredibly well done. And hey, man, anything in, it's got death in it. I'm down with. 100%. Death, indeed. Yeah. Sign with 16 by nine in mind. You do um, need the um, 5500 Broadwell GT2 and seven gigs. Please be yeah. aware that this game is designed with 69 in mind. Giggity. Um, Suck it four by okay, three. Okay, so you get letter boxes if you try to running, tried running it in four by three. I don't trust you. letters. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. I I I got I got to try very very hard to not just go into a full racist Japanese impression. Jenny Leclou, Detective Vu. Uh, I, detective I so Vu. Detect Detective Vu. Not Vu. 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 Detective V. Yeah, um, yeah. It reminds <laughs> this one reminds me quite a bit of Oxenfree from like the uh, art style and whatnot, um, and uh, the reviews even call that one out too. Um, but again, much like the last game, complaints boil down to it's very it's very pretty looking. It's good. It's well written. It's well acted. But you know, there's not much of a game here. And I don't I don't know. There there are definitely people who like uh, narrative focused games, and this is something targeted hey, this has at got them. Got more death in it, man. I'm going to have to buy both of them. <laughs> yeah, if you, especially if you love nerds. Um, but yeah, if if you if you really do like uh, narrative focused games, this is probably something that will be right up your alley. Was was it selling for these days? It's twenty bucks. Twenty five bucks. 
25 Rem Canadian. Oh, hello. Check this out. Remote play on phone, remote play on tablet, remote play mm -hmm. on TV. Hmm. Remote play. <laughs> Interesting. It's, it's, it's almost as if Steam has integrated their experience so that it just shows up everywhere. It sounds like a horrible uh, idea. Indeed. <laughs> Quite depraved. Quite depraved indeed. However, this game that's called Depraved looks well. It looks like someone just took a bunch of stock assets. I was going to say, it looks like we're going to Microsoft called and they want DOS six point two back. Well, it looks like yeah, uh, it's zero, like zero they took a bunch of the uh, stock assets and they decided let's make a city builder uh, out of these assets, and they did. And to their credit, uh, it actually was uh, very well received at first. Uh, apparently, Did ever they change, since like, the game, this minute thing that wouldn't even bother any of us listening live or anything, but it just they're, they're no, all the guns the, with walkie talkies. The thing oh, was, uh, it, it came it. out of early access, and they didn't finish it. Uh, there's like no end game, and <laughs> yeah, it's uh, according to the reviews, it was um, it was all right as like Pedro, the, the are, concept are they of a game. Really went the distance for this one. No, no, they didn't. Oh. <laughs> they really weren't going for speed, and that kind of shows, because apparently it devolves into waiting out the clock to get more people to come into your city and to get more money in so you can build more stuff really quickly. That's the basic core uh, gameplay loop is just that very, very quickly. So, yeah, people weren't too happy about that. So now the reviews are done to mixed. <laughs> yeah. So so what you're saying is they packed it up and then they rolled it out. Rawhide. <laughs> Pretty know, much. <laughs> I mean, we've seen that happen time and time again. Um, you know, it's a good game. How many times have we uh, threw a game through the trick position? We were honestly able to say, if this is an early access, this would be awesome. Yeah. Because you can see where they were right. going with that yeah. and what else they could add to it. And then th there's nothing. Mm. <laughs> Maybe if it was a little more depraved, it would be a little uh, better well received. Like, so yeah, uh, like, keep your like, 20 bucks on this one. Rain of yeah, the like, Old Ones. Yeah, like an H.P. Lovecraft novel. Uh, Stygian, Rain of the Old Ones. Uh, embrace the madness, they say. It's a Lovecraftian RPG where you go around and you kill cultists and you research old ones and then you go insane and it's a grip roaring fun old time. Um, yeah, so without having played it, I can't really comment too much on the story or anything like that. Um, but it's using might and magic style combat. You wander around, you do the standard call of Cthulhu shit. Uh, one, yeah. I uh, had one thing that kind of stuck out is they listed 1410 as a, uh, as a system requirement. That's a, that's a weird one. Usually you see like 1204, 1404, sometimes the elusive 10, 10, 12, the Ubuntu 1012 that got mm -hmm. released that one time. Um, but then, uh, but then this one calls out a, uh, mid, uh, LTS distribution, which I found a that, little bit weird. Yeah, that could have been like some weird and like accidental Linux. It's like who who at home has Linux installed on the things? I was like, I got yeah, the oh, I installed yeah. Ubuntu fourteen yeah, ten. I, I don't think I wiped point. that drive. I'll bring it in. <laughs> yeah, so, so, something like that. Uh, but but I, I actually do like the art style. I I like me some uh, Lovecraft, uh, some Lovecrafting horror. So it might be worth a look. It is it is a little pricey at uh, twenty five bucks, but you know. We we we. St I, th I think one thing that's occurred over Steam is that we it's really caused us to devalue PC games, or either that or shit on console is way overvalued. I'm not sure. Well, you got you got to give shit console... on console is really expensive. Yes, you have to give them credit. I mean, video games have been sixty pounds since I was a child. Mm -hmm. That you know they they've had that unlock, but fortunately, and now they, they just tack on season passes. And microtransactions. And why do you, why, why do you hate freedom, Pedro? Come on. Jeez. <laughs> Buy more. Consume. Freedom isn't free. You gotta, you gotta pay out cash. Coming up next, if you're an AMD GPU user, no, if you're, Linux, just you're gonna an be AMD. very excited. If you're, just, if you're just Lisa Sue, you're gonna be very happy with the next segment. Party. We're gonna have a party? Oh, so appar apparently... Um, uh, Nerf is pulling a Keurig now. Uh, they're gonna like put little chips in the uh, in the darts, and the guns won't fire of non-official Nerf darts. Good luck with that. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I, I did. Poundland. They have like the cheap, like a pound for a hundred darts. <laughs> now that you say that, I was wholly unaware of 
you know, Nerf Warfare I do is a thing, but like, of course there's aftermarket darts and they're going to beat you. But like, yeah, that, geez. Okay. You, you can, you can actually just make your own. Like you just need some uh, insulation foam. Hey everyone, before we chill out too much, if you want to play the home game, you see people like bang suggesting show titles, that's because you can vote on them at the end of the night. Head over to vote.linuxgamecast.com. Eat sandwiches and scream. Yeah, baby. Gonna hit play, vanilla proton, depressing filter, there shall be boots, banana, tuna fish, pizza, and oh, Japanese impression. <laughs> oh, so the new nerf guns don't even shoot the old darts. Ooh. <laughs> Gotta make that clean break, man. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's man. Like, even in that's that's something to be really petty about, I guess. <laughs> they they've made so much money, new and like even with like early nineties um, water guns, it just gotten completely unhinged to the point. It's gonna be, what's the point? Oh yeah, no, like, I, I remember they're like, oh yeah, you don't need to like fill it up with the hose now. There's like this bay, you cram the barrel of the gun in and it just like pressurizes the, uh, pressurizes, um, the water, the Pedro's water of the eating gun, the so banana. you just spray it. Mm. I feel left Thanks out. Thanks for the follow, Neogis. <laughs> hey, you're and, the bit and bitch. And one-eighth. Yeah. <laughs> Ven's my bit bitch on Thursdays. I should make some... Actually, Sandy's not here next week, so I gotta find someone else. We can do something. We just gotta organize. Ah, who organizes? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Steve, Steve Husband, sniffing glue. Jill, leave him alone. It's Steve time. He's trying to escape. He's trying to escape work by doing what he already does at work. Shut up. <laughs> right, but like, I guess at work he's making weird fucked up Barbies. Here he's working on his true passion. He's not German supposed tanks. to be, but he is. No, like, <laughs> that, 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 that is Steve's department. is just like, make some fucked up shit and we'll see if we can actually turn it into a toy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll give it to market research and see what they can do with it. Oh, Scott, you forgot, uh, before you go to the underpants, snap at playtesters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell your playtesters that they suck and they're playing the game wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. you get bonus points if you manage to work in part of artistic vision into a sentence, too. Mm -hmm. That's an important one. Might be speaking from experience here. <laughs> Listen, it's my, it's my artistic vision to run at 24 frames a second. <laughs> remember the um a blender game engine game remember that robot game where the dude just like straight up wouldn't add mouse cursor movement to it we had to use the keyboard i'm spacing i think i remember it. something like that it was a first person <laughs> and you were in like a scrapyard and everyone everyone was like why can't we control this with the mouse and we have to look around with up, down, left, and right. This is dumb. Can't really. He's like, what? It's like, this is how I envisioned the game to be without mouse support. Brilliant. Oh, this is how I <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm envisioning me spending my time doing something completely different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, Jordan. You're just entitled and toxic. <laughs> I am toxic. If you eat me, you'll die. <laughs> Mild indigestion. Extreme Probably going to be a bit chewy. He's been exercising lately. I'm an artist. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dense. <laughs> you win. Also, and also, I'm loaded with C4. Cesium. <laughs> Let's see if you're Cesium, going to eat Jordan, you need to let him season in like, I don't know, whiskey or something that will actually attack I the meat. I um... <laughs> The Twitch highlight clip you talking about um, Jill's brother and his black truck and us getting kidnapped and that that's great. That's somebody's first introduction. We're just like right into it. Like, if you can handle that, you can handle the rest of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that's what you walk into. The, uh, 
And that's the thing. It's that that's it's not even hyperbole. It's very true. Right. It was a very true story. Then we had Scott yeah. chiming in. He's like, I didn't even know you could hire people to kidnap you. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> It's it's the whole thing. You should you should watch the Friday food bar. Right. That's something we're gonna do. The last Friday of every month is going to be Jack Attacks. I think we'll play Jackbox and we'll get Jack to come on with a webcam and just stare at us many menacingly. Oh no no no! See, we're, we're, we gotta get like a like a giant refrigerator box and then put him in the box and All then right. just stream that for an hour. All right. Like I'm sitting. No, we can get an outdoor cam. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey. Jack Jackbox. Yeah. Call it in the end of Jones 5. <laughs> How dare no, there, you, there's not, there's not enough Shia LaBeouf. Was he in there? In number four? Yeah. That never happened. <laughs> Movies that need a sequel. <laughs> yeah. Well, th that was the thing. There was like two good rounds where Ven and I just picked the same fucking joke. Well, you know, <laughs> the pro like the first one you caught it, though. You're like, can't pick that one. And it's like, nope. <laughs> Different operating systems, same architecture. Yeah. Oh man, everything's getting a reboot. We need a reboot of uh, Mario Bros. I want like, I want like a fucked up Mario Brothers. I oh, want, they like, made hardcore... that in the nineties. I mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> I want, I want. No, that, that, that's that's just a bad Mario Brothers. I want, I want like, I want some hardcore Henry shit, like on acid. Hardcore Henry, yeah. It, was, it didn't blow me away as much as I thought it would. I mean, it's it's a gimmick, right? Like, right, right. There, there's there's a reading there's a reason that editing exists in film is because there's a lot of wasted time otherwise. See, here's the here's the only issue I have with that, Mike, is that leads me to believe that there's an RX. Visky. Yeah. Transmission receive. Yeah. Egress. Ingress. I'm just saying, man. Is there well, a state that starts with R? Uh, S <laughs> Scott, I, th I, th I, th I think the, the, the better take on okay. that theory was that, like, <laughs> straight up Princess Peach is paying Bowser to kidnap her. A, because she's in love with them, and B, because she gets a sick thrill about, like, getting kidnapped and having someone rescue her. Munchausen's. It's called no, Munchausen that's syndrome. Not, no, that, that's <laughs> not what Munchausen syndrome is. Pedro. Nerd she fight. likes the attention. She needs the attention. She right, needs but the... Listen, Jordan, Pedro knows a lot about needing attention. It's true. Really? Yeah. Come really? On. Me? Yep. Really? <laughs> you're, you're the authority on this. this whole podcast? Yep. Really? <laughs> 100 uh <-huh. laughs> I don't want any attention. Jordan to tolerate it. You're like, hey, guys. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, like, they, they, there, there are people who have seen me in real life, and they're like, oh, people are paying attention to me. I'm just gonna go stand in this corner and, like, not move. I tend to walk away from the situations. <laughs> See, here's what I'm wondering. In Texas, how long could you IRL that bottle, put a camera on it, and, like, get a stopwatch before somebody yoinks it? <laughs> well, Mario 3 was a stage yeah, play, man. That, yeah, like... You could duck Once behind you finish the levels, you yeah. go off stage. Yeah, like maybe that wasn't was... the Canadian version. No, it was. <laughs> I've... It just cuts back to a castle. We're like, yeah, we don't know about the day. <laughs> the, the, those Canadian ca I mean, there's okay. I live near a, a castle in Toronto, but that's like <laughs> that was a castle made by a rich guy in the twenties who wanted to live in a castle. So swinging a miss, bro. <laughs> shut up! Just shut up! <laughs> Oh man! Right. I work in a Victorian building. That's basically a castle. <laughs> oh, dude, have you run into uh, any of the uh, like pre twenties uh, water closets? No, but there's like half of the basement that's been walled off. That's still filled with the uh, the. Mm. Medical equipment. Okay. When this was a um, psychiatric hospital. <laughs> oh, you know, there's still like some crazy person down there who's like still running experiments on inmates who've been trapped there for oh, decades. Yeah. 
and there's like a big massive hole that's uh, that used to be like uh, water drainage uh, that it's still open it's still there uh, it's accessible through one of the storage areas so what, I, what I mean what I'm hearing goes is pretty we need to far get... down <laughs> well so what, what I'm hearing is we need to get Pedro a chainmail a sword and he can and take his Mary Poppin ass around yeah, that and get in there <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'll, 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 I, want, I want to see some eye of the beholder shit from Pedro vision yeah get a man down fucking <laughs> alien fighting out of nowhere. giant rats and trolls and shit <laughs> like well that's one oh. yeah <laughs> All right, let me grab I'm gonna need a, a bonfire. What's it like working in a Dark Souls level? That's ah, all right, except you get stabbed periodically, but then you come back to Pedro life. Pedro be totally against it, be like, fuck this, fuck you guys. Just give him, like, a giant novelty sword. He's like, yeah, I got this. And then we had to go find a new co-host yeah, after that. Yeah, it's like straight up Xenomorph takes about first step. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. Good run. Yeah. All right, uh, let me get a drink, and we'll get into the news. We got a chunky, chunky news sack. Get some some chunks. Some chunks. Ooh, yeah, we do. Are we doing anything for the shilling? I asked as I was looking away, and then Vin walked off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't Identity work people. at Bedlam, but teeth. yeah, the uh, the place was uh, decommissioned as um, an insane asylum in the 1930s. So yeah, <laughs> um, the stories I hear apparently a couple of years ago, uh, people used to hold like. During Halloween, uh, they'd hold like uh, ghost stories near the doorway that's been walled off to the sectioned off side of the basement. And the official reason as to why it was sectioned off, it's like, it's way too expensive to completely refurbish that side, so we can just put some bricks and concrete in front of all the accesses and there. Done. <laughs> So when the floor of the West Wing caves in and <laughs> people actually get to see what's on the other side of the uh, the bricked off bit, that's going to be interesting. Hopefully I'll still be working there when that happens. <laughs> but yeah, it is like big old Victorian building. <laughs> yeah, there's probably a couple of them still sitting, waiting for surgery or something. <laughs> I heard insane asylums. Yes. And St. Asylums is the reason that I know I'm qualified for a $400,000 loan. Because you tried to buy one? I <laughs> might have got curious. <laughs> Somebody had posted one on Reddit and, you know, like, what was it? Abandoned building porn or some shit like that. And I was like, that, where's that at? It's like, then, then you start, you find yourself on the market. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing too. Like, you could probably get property like that for real cheap, because like, it's oh, it's haunted. Yeah. Turns out, schoolhouses are, really are cheaper of than asylums, though. Really? Yeah. Actually, that would be kind of neat to like renovate a school into like. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know though, because like, I would, I would, I would, I would think that's a very cool project, and I'd get like maybe two, three rooms done, and then I'd just stay in those rooms. Well, you can do things pretty smart. Um, if you've ever been to Austin, there's a. Uh, Shopping mall college. University. Now I'm just imagining like there's a Lacenza, but it's teaching like philosophy 101 or some shit. Oh, dude, mm. there should be like a Mickey D's with a playground. It'd be awesome. Does, do they still have playgrounds or is it the world? They do. Oh, they really? Do. Yeah. Mm. Um, the place, uh, there there was one at the McDonald's across the street from the place I used to live in. Hmm. 
I don't typically go to fast food places. I thought they would have done away with that for the children's safety. It's McDonald's. Yeah, you the think they're really concerned of, about children's uh, safety? On the subject of renovating schools, there's a bunch of restaurants in Portugal that are like primary schools from back when that got deserted. <laughs> that, 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 that serve children. It's like veal, but cannibalism. And, yeah, oh, the, wait, no, I'm turned... sorry. We're, not, we're supposed to stay away from cannibalism. Whoops. <laughs> There Whoops. is one restaurant that's just straight up called The School. <laughs> oh, so like if you get food, food poisoning, do you get schooled? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. You're talking to yourself again. Do you got a B to that A? There's the B. <laughs> oh, man. That, that's a nice Spanish looking... Mm. That's a primary school, <laughs> or was in the night uh, the eighteen hundreds. <laughs> Man, that looks like some like, um, like a monk would come out of there and terrorize. Me. Yeah, no, I, I, it looks like a straight up schoolhouse. That's that. Uh, that's it. I, I, I it's no a restaurant now. <laughs> is, is is the food good? Yes, yes, it is, and it's stupidly expensive. It looks sounds like if you eat there, you're gonna get taken to school. Get Welcome that's back what to Pinko's like Restaurant the Reviews, <laughs> where apparently we're just doing this now. Wow. Um, <laughs> so what, what's, what's, the, what's the wine list? <laughs> Let's see. I don't know about wine list, but there's this. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Why would you host your images on an API server? <laughs> you judgmental <laughs> bitch. Just calm down. Are we, wow. are, are we doing anything for the plug Kitty section? The always. Um, uh, we'll just roll it. Run down with a patron. We're going to introduce two new Patreon goals. Uh, behind the scenes studio update. That's the thing. All right. And uh, Sto store Amazon, yes, yeah, store works now. I think let me double check that. We hosted our store on Steam, so it went down. <laughs> Valve gets a 30% revenue split from our t shirts 42%. What do they pay for the ironing? Yeah, e e Epic offered to give us $300,000 if we just sell our shirts on their store. Mm hmm. Could okay. you imagine if, like, people did that for, like, non-video game stuff? Like, we're, we're going to give you a ton of money to just sell your product. I guess I guess that actually does exist, doesn't it? Oh, dude. For, like, for like food for food stuffs and whatnot. Okay, for the plug segment, I'll cut the Blinky Turbo box on. So we'll just stick with the show while we mention everything. And I'll kick over to the store. And we will kick so, over to Pat's store, Amazon. Come on, Sounds you can right. resolve the host. <laughs> I heard horst. Horst. It's the Steam Linux <laughs> socket timeout of the socket timeout. Why are you giving me this weird layout? Oh, it's because I'm not logged in. Ah. Ah. That's weird. I never see Patreon like that. Um, then we need to do the Amazon thing. I've chunked That's up. what old soup looks like. <laughs> Why would you do... No. <laughs> No, Pedro, I'm going to buy you some near soup, okay? <laughs> okay, uh, so what do we got? Store, Patreon, Amazon? Uh, I thought we were going to do Patreon, Store, Amazon. But, Patreon, uh, Store, Amazon. All right, I just need to know. No curveballs. Yep. All right. right. He's totally going to do something different. You should check out the Gaming on Linux store at mm -hmm. gamingonlinux.com. <laughs> Maybe it's a thing. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you should check out the Epic Games Store. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> just, just get like fan yeah. myself with a lot of cash. Oh no, dude! Just like <laughs> just starts raiding money just on you. <laughs> <laughs> 
damn it, I should have went to the bank. We could have set something up. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, we'll stick with that. Let's do it. We're locked and loaded with the records. It's coming in. Stop, lock, load. Brilliant people. Let's get back to it in three, two. Since we don't really like shilling for ourselves, Says I have you. this Listen, really um, completely, you know, off the rails idea. How about we shill for ourselves? No, Pedro, I, I'm starting to believe this was all just a master plan so you didn't have to eat old soup anymore. You could eat new soup. Actually, the Portuguese new, old new, soup new is soup for you. not Come back the worst. You're... If it's creamy, it's it's really nice. <laughs> well, you can you can cream yourself by heading on over to <laughs> patreoncom slash Uh You get you get you get the smooth, velvety texture that is supporting us, uh, giving giving us some money hey, every week. Heads up, pressing down when I had OBS activated didn't do anything, and that's a good thing. So totally might have just did that. Um... <laughs> might might have been porn, yeah. But uh, becoming a patron gets you some cool stuff like uh, Discord access. Us, we get access to the uh, pre pre super chosen, which is an extra hour of Linux gaming Dude, content that we have a out. video right. of now. Sweet oh my god, yeah, we just unlocked that. We beta tested it tonight for executive producers, and you know, uh, anybody who's the Death Note and above, you get access to our Discord and you get the audio. You can come in live, rap with us an hour before the show, talk about you know things that might might not be going on. But you could actually talk video component. It, yes, yep. you can. That is terrifying. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, sir. Indeed. Um, but yeah, we we got some lovely content behind there, including Ven showing off his creepy basement, which I guess isn't his basement anymore. It's, it's just his not, creepy man. den. My, my basement is <laughs> back to being creepy and very loud because I got that edge router down there that is turbo fan. Indeed. Um, but we got, we, got, we got some new goals coming up, don't we? Because we, we, we play games a couple of days punish, a week thanks to the Patreons. Bad, bad touch, man. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> if, 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 if you want to get us above a certain level, we got to play some Werfenstein, some of the new blood. We've been threatening to do that. Uh, we've always had a fun time. we got a long tradition of doing that, like setting up play dates, starting with Trine. We went through Trine 1, Trine 2, and begrudgingly, actually, trine three. yeah, Trine 3. We bullshitted our way through trying to though it was hilarious man with Pedro trying, no, tr tr trying three this. was just like calculated fromage to see how we could just pretty much <laughs> yeah right we, 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 we did we did uh, left for dead we did portal when trying four comes out and if left for dead three or portal three ever come out we're gonna have to do those um, well those are evolve games this <laughs> this is definitely gonna this is gonna harken back to what Pedro and i did with meet the freemans we went through with everyone's help, we're rotating in and out using synergy. We beat Half Life Two on hard. Oh, we we, we did it. We did it with uh, Serious Sam Three as well. Yeah, you rocked and rolled through Serious Sam. So our newest uh, spicy level of bullshit. We're going to burn a heretic purchase. Oh, <gasps> yeah, we're going to do Wolfenstein Youngbloods <laughs> in stereo. Now the beautiful thing about this is we only get to burn one heretic purchase, and we can bring in people from the audience. But you don't need to own the game. With the buddy pass, anybody can roll in with us. But nice. <laughs> we're going to do that on hard mode. It's going to be brilliant. We'll hit that. Lock and load, ladies and gentlemen. What, 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 what do we need to get to in order to hit that goal, though? Uh, it's on there. You can go look for yourself. And, no. Yeah. I can't I can't read. Because <laughs> one that's... $300. One that's <laughs> much further down the road and infinitely more safe is the thing I've been threatening to do for like two years is Skyrim job. Because we have the super low latency with Twitch and bringing the community in to vote and tell me to do horrible things and me having to do that. Because I've never beaten Skyrim. And yeah, <laughs> buckle up. That buckle up, buckle <laughs> sounds like an incredibly bad idea, but we'll do it anyway. Get, we, um, we, we, got, we got some other avenues of support as well. You can buy some of... Some sanctioned official LGC merch. Not the one you get from Teddy on the street corner. That LGC stands for something completely different. Store it at LinuxGameCast.com. <laughs> buy some stickers. Buy some t-shirts. If you're a Francophile, you can broadcast to the word. World, if you want someone to use you, you can wear the Lonely Tap Penguin shirt. Uh, it's, it's very sad. I, I want someone to use me. Man, what would you do if you were like walking down the street and you saw somebody selling like bootleg LGC merch outside of hug them? I think I just hug them, like just yeah, straight up. Yeah, like, it's like I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I would actually genuinely be curious, like what was the chain of events that resulted in you having to sell bootleg LGC merch? Hundred percent. That was my first thought. Then my practical reptilian brain kicked in. 
And it was like, then I would get very still and start looking for them. I'm like, all right, this is a setup. <laughs> Sun's going down here. I was no. drawn here for a reason. <laughs> Who and are you? Who hired you? Come in the cloud. And just like, ah. Oh. I'm like, no, this is how it ends. All right. Spe- spe- speak- speaking of how getting your head chopped off, Amazon. We have an Amazon store. If you're curious how we, <laughs> what kind of hardware we use to uh, make this show. Uh, we we got a we got a place where you can go and see what we use and purchase it, and we get a little bit of a kickback. We also got uh, Amazon wish lists. Uh, I got one. Petra has one. The studio has one. If you want to buy some stuff, you can get up on uh, Frank's fuck wall. Oh, see that damn glorious it. orange piece of uh, that cardboard. That didn't last long. That's a good deal, everyone. If you can catch it, the um, uh, A fifty one hundred. Yeah, the renewed. It's like three hundred mm-hmm. bucks, dude. Mm. Highly yeah, suggest uh, but- you can pick on us, make comments about like, hey man, I don't like what you're getting. Maybe it's a bad idea. We will take that feedback, hundred yeah. percent, man. I'm still yes. waiting on someone to buy me that butter infuser, though. One day, yep. one day. Everybody's help. This is uh, <laughs> completely community funded, man. Community run. It's kind of brilliant, and uh, let's keep doing it. It's brilliant. Indeed. Oh, yeah. Speaking mm-hmm. of doing it, Mesa Project's doing it. They got 19.2 out. It's available. You can buy it. Well, you don't have to buy it because it's open source. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, um, the latest Mesa, which has support for the Navi Radeon cards, is out. Um, so, as is usual Mesa tradition, the point zero release is considered unstable. If you want, you know, fewer breaks, you should maybe wait to the 19.2.1, which is what a lot of the distributions like Ubuntu and Fedora are going to wait for. We're pushing that out if you want to preview that. You got to find, like, a PPA or a copper repo or an AUR, blah, blah, blah. Steam has one if you're using Arch. You should maybe consider using that one. Um <laughs> Yeah, uh, so ACO is probably going to wait till Mesa 19.3, so it's probably a good time to give them, it's probably good to give them some time to merge the other performance changes that weren't approved yet. Um, and there'll be lots of Proton fixes here because that's what Valve is pumping money into. Um, Jay, baby, I'm going to ask you a question since you're what, the newest member to the AMD family with your, uh, what was it, 480? I, I, I got an 8 gig 580. 580. All right, same difference. It's the same card. Oh. Pretty much. How's the Mesa Life treat you? Because I know before that, well, you did have experience with a laptop, but like on the desktop, is how's it? Is it comparable with NVIDIA? All I know is NVIDIA because I'm a shill for Team Green. Well, so here, here's the thing: is my TV is not the greatest for gaming, so um, because because of that upscaler, uh, but it it runs fine. Like games launch, they play at reasonable frame rates. Um, I've I've experimented briefly with running shit at UHD, but that that does not work too well on the 580, mm-hmm. even with the eight gigajoules. Uh, but at 1080, it runs perfectly fine. Um, it it's it's a, it is a very nice out of the box experience, um, especially because Mesa has or uh, Mesa DRI three is enabled by default under Fedora, unlike in Ubuntu. In Fedora, so, yes, <laughs> yeah. So you can uh, you can just uh, install things, make sure AMD GPU is loaded, and you're on your way. Right on. Pretty nice. Tune in on Tuesday to find out more what it takes to run it on the Ubuntu side. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, the new version of Mesa, the stable version, brings in initial support for the Navi 14s. That's your uh, 5700 and your 5700 XT. Yep. Uh, they Basically, it recognizes... Uh, if you plug them into the PCIe port, it goes, oh, that's this card. And it feeds it the uh, relevant AMD GPU bits, but it's it's still not 100% there, but it, it's a start. It's good. Uh, and yeah, if you're using 19.2 uh, and the 5.3 kernel, you may even be able to play some video games on it. Hmm? Maybe. With the 5700 <laughs> XT, yeah. Bonus yeah, exciting <laughs> times, especially with uh, we we talked about this in the Steam segment. DXVK 1.4 is released. Um, it implements the latest version of DirectX 11, which is 11.4. Uh, so that's what's the latest version that's available in Windows 10. It it does not implement a bunch of features like um, tiled resources, conservation, rasterization, and rasterizer ordered views. Although they're fairly uncommon options because they're so new. So once games start using them, they're going to implement it. Um, yeah, the, uh, they got some uh, resource mapping improvements. Basically, just lots of fixes for, like, Souls games. Every every DXVK update, there's probably a couple fixes for Souls games, because that's what most people who are using DXVK are playing, apparently? I don't know. Uh, uh, well, the vocal, to vocal be fair, ones, man. I mean, you got to think it's the type of people who play Souls games, so you know they're going to be shouty. Indeed. Just like this guy. Well, I was actually going to bring up GTA V because with the whole uh, thing about the uh, new uh, launcher that Rockstar introduced, it's 
yeah, uh, apparently Dix Vix is actually doing something to uh, improve on that. And part of it stems from uh, Wine's inability to accelerate direct 2D because it was never really necessary uh, until this point. Uh, so, yeah, they say that the DXGI runtime interface will need a Wine update. So chances are you will uh, we will see a Proton rebase on... I don't know, probably Wine 416 or 417. In, yeah, like next week, because I know the latest update with Wine, man, they, they were uh, playing around with Mono stuff, and I'm like, this is what my Batmans needs, and I can play my Batmans. Yeah. <laughs> Batman. I'm, I'm, I'm sexy Batman. And talking yeah, about, yeah, uh, yeah. not an Android, please, nay. No, and this one is, uh, well, it's called Lollyhop, and it's uh, D9Vix. It's the companion to Dixvix. And it lets you run all those games that still use the X9 that ch chances are you bought back in the day and you'd very much like to play with reasonable performance. Nope, I, on I Steam. only play OpenGL games, Pedro. How dare you accuse me of. Well, I, you should I, be I, playing I, I, Vulcan games because that's to, where to, it is. I mean, to, to the Wine Project's credit, the OpenGL implementation for DX9 is pretty solid for most games. There's just a couple it is. that. Uh... It's, it's just the performance that it's not really there. It'll do everything. It's just. It's very heavy on the processor, but uh, putting DirectX 9 to the Vulkan layer uh, apparently helps a great deal. And uh, I mentioned GTA 5 earlier with XVIX, and here we have GTA 4 actually getting some better support. And they've um, one of the DXXO uh, fixes actually comes from the developer of DXVK. Uh, which was implemented constant bound uh, constant bounds checking uh, fixes vertex explosions in The Witcher Two. Mm. So, so yeah. you can actually play that under <laughs> Linux now. Yeah, you can actually play that now. You know something I was curious about Witcher Two. I saw some people mention that, and it's like, ah, I, it was a neon port, and I'd like to stick with native games. But curiosity, Proton has very much enabled curiosity. And it's like, okay, let's try to run this with the uh, latest Proton. It ain't dick. Didn't happen. There are some that uh, still do that. Uh, I think uh, Bioshock when, Infinite. That yeah. that's one of the ones that doesn't Haven't played yet that one work with Proton to this day. Right? <laughs> yeah. But that's oh. one of the games I tried because it's like, oh yeah, let's try that with Proton. Yeah. But on the other side, you also have um, Saints Row 2, which... Um, that did run, though, didn't it? Yeah, it, yeah. It, it did run very poorly, but you enable Proton, it's like, oh, this game is actually playable now. Hmm. <laughs> one, one, one game that did get an update is kind of the red-headed stepchild of the Serious Sam franchise. Serious Sam 2, which was a radical departure, actually has some uh, fixes here, so... Serious Sam yep. 2, believe it or not, did have a native Linux port, but it was one of the janky Iculus ones that he kind of... How had dare incomplete. you? <laughs> how, how, how no. dare I call out janky Iculus ports for being janky Iculus ports? Listen, you child, it wasn't janky when it was released. It might be it janky because backwards compatibility is janky on Linux. It's not Iculus's fault. Let's go back into our time machine and see if that's true. Then I we was can go there. Meet Don't, do not quote the old magic to me, child. <laughs> listen, I, I just want to hang out with Jesus again. That's really it. To the time machine. All right. Uh, I'm not even going to try that. Whatever. This one. Chiaki, I'm guessing, uh, is a little bit of an open source project that's available on GitHub. And what it lets you do is, well, it lets you play... witchcraft, dude. That's all I'm... Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> it lets you uh, basically do the PS4 remote thing on Linux. Uh, it is, yeah, a completely free and open source re-implementation of the PS4 remote client. And what it does is exactly what the proprietary version does, in theory. It would let you just start up your own PS4 at home and then remote from the PS4 to wherever you are. Similar to how Steam Remote does it. Uh, and there are some... It doesn't take much QT OpenGL uh, Python. No, yeah. no it really easy. doesn't. And it's just an H.264 decoder that needs to receive a stream from your console, so you shouldn't need much. Yeah. But yeah... The one of the uh, things they have implemented right now is congestion control, H.264 error concealment. Uh, there are uh, there's touchpad support on the um, DualShock 4. It's not completely implemented yet. You can send like the tap, 
but the actual touchpad um like swipe of the finger or double finger swipe or something like that any of the gestures those are not working yet uh the rumble is working so you get your vibrating controller and you can configure the key bindings so that's good <laughs> it's a, it's in a relatively workable state. Um, apparently, um, it, it does ship in an app image, which is pretty handy. It's nice it's, to see yeah. that open source projects <laughs> are. That's uh, very good to see. Yeah. yeah, are adopting something that doesn't require you to build shit from source. You can just execute it. That um, but, I, after yeah. looking at the requirements for that, I'd probably give that a curiosity. Like, yeah, it'd be easy. To yeah, yeah. Like, uh, QT but, open uh, would be the only thing I don't think I would have currently. Yeah. So. Like, it, it, it it's pretty lean when it comes to, to the requirements, but yeah, uh, if you're if you want 1080p for this, it's only supported on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and I'm not sure if it's good 1080 or if it's crappy 1080, but that remains to be seen. Um, but no, it's it's good it's good to see that projects like this exist. Uh, if you can't if we if we can't have a PlayStation 4 emulator at the very least, we can you know play the games from our, the comfort of our Linux computer. You you can finally play Fallout. And all those other games that are ended up on there. What did you end up buying, Mike? Uh, dude bought a PS4 to play one game. Play dude. Fallout 4, yeah. Fallout 4, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now it works very well with Proton, so... That's the kind of principle I get behind. Open Jam. <laughs> Open Jam. It's that time of year again. Red Hat hates Diabetes Linux gaming, time? but they're still oh, going to okay. still help... Uh... Help uh, fund some Linux game development. Yeah, um, it's happening. It's actually it actually started already. It's going from the twenty seventh to the thirtieth. So if you're watching the recorded version of it, it's already Mom, over. Mom. Too fucking bad. But <laughs> if you're listening to it now and you can pump out a game in you know two days, uh, you might be able to uh, you might be able to get an entry in. Do you uh, think maybe be... some sort of brick simulation? Possibly, if if someone wants to introduce that to the contest, could be. Um, you got to build it with. Uh, you got to at least make the source code available. They give you bonus points if you use open source tools. They give you a nice big list of them as well. Um, yeah, and th yeah, that's what what I really liked in the like the introduction post that they made for this jam. It's like, here's a wiki page. Go there, click on it. It's like, oh. That's a bunch of open source engines, open source uh, middleware, open source like audio stuff, open source graphics layers, open source everything. It's like, th th oh. thank, thank you, Bubba Gump. Are you gonna <laughs> tell me more about shrimp? Um, but, but yeah, uh, it, it's a, there's no theme. You can just make a game and it will be judged, like most creative efforts. And the 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 first pr the first prize is satisfaction that you won the open game jam. Okay, that, we're a little late it. on this. We definitely want to give this a mention. Put it in your calendar for next year. You know, if you're watching live, see if you can short one out real quick. But I think maybe we should make for next year X Sweeney to replace X Bill. <laughs> it needs an update. We'll do it in Vulcan. And it, it, it just pukes money at you. No just man, gaming's makes... trying to take over the um, gaming industry with um, Steam, and your job as uh, the valiant Tim Sweeney is to stop him at every turn. You got to pay <laughs> off uh, developers to make. It. There's a game in there. Is all I'm saying. Indeed, <laughs> you, you, you know, you know where there isn't a game though wah, on the Atari VCS. <laughs> this comes from the register. You can find all this nonsense after the fact. In our show notes on our web zone, check the link in the description. Time to check in again on the Atari Retro Console. Dear God, this actually got worse. Pro tip, when you're removed as a Reddit moderator, you may want to review your life choices. You know, if I, as a Reddit moderator of a couple of big ass subs, smart words, uh, just being one, don't ever. Uh, we've taken a lot of static about talking about this. What is it? I've never heard of it. It's the Linux powered, uh, Oya 2 Electric Boogaloo that they're using the Atari name to make a desktop console that's going to sell $200 plus dollars. It's a stupid fucking idea. Always has been. Well, I do have to say this without gloating. Where's your flying spaghetti monster now? This thing <laughs> is just eating all the poo. I got to say, man, what do you guys feel about? Oh, let's roll down with this. It's missed every single deadline. Hasn't provided any updates for months. People are like, hey, what about the guy who was like working on it with the company? They're like, uh, smoke bomb. He started another company and he's doing another open source console. And yes. The only man <laughs> on the team with actual experience with building game consoles is now the co-founder of another startup. I mean, well, and what, what was great yeah. is when, when, when they asked, like, is he still attached to this project? You know, lots of people run multiple projects and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The, the dodge, dodge. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's what I'm saying about this, man. Maybe, they, hey, don't worry. Maybe they'll, next week they'll release a fresh 3D render. Indeed. Yeah. The, or the, another, co- op, uh, you know, um, empty plastic shell. Now, outside <laughs> of me, naturally, my resting state is bitter and jaded, but I try not to let that affect everyone else. This. Mm, you fail. This is round two. Um, back in the early aughts, with my hipster naming there, we had this thing called the Phantom Console that was Linux powered. Vaporware too. I've been through this before. I <laughs> smelt this from not day one, but like day one and a half. I'm like this is bullshit. So jaded, maybe a little bit. Yeah, and it's not looking good for these folks. They've just been so evasive. They missed all their deadlines. I, they don't have a product here. And ironically, we were so much harsher on the Smach, but they produce something. They, there's a thing that you can hold in your hands and play games at like 15 frames a second, but you you can hold it. It's, we it's, were it's real. It's credit. material. There is a prototype out there. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they made a functioning product and we're like, credit where credit's due. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they powered through it. It took them six years and they straight up did some motion. I'm like, oh, this is our yes, prototype. And no, originally, this is HDMI cable running into a display. No, it's not. Look the other way. Yeah, and uh, originally they called it the Steam Boy. So, yes. <laughs> that, that, that has nothing it, to do with anything aside from branding. Yeah, uh, and uh, well, well it did when Steam I guess was it's like, only stop. fitting it's only fitting that we should now have a new Whipping Boy. Even if it's whipping? just using the Atari name. <laughs> and that whipping boy is OBS Studio 24.0. Um, there's also <gasps> been, uh, you know, a couple of hunt fixes for this. Uh, I am currently not running that fresh build of 24 that I was on Wednesday because I was jacking up my AV sync a little bit. And I didn't feel like redoing everything, but I built a portable version anyway. So I just rolled back to this. This does introduce dynamic bitrate. Could be useful if you have slightly unreliable internet connections. And we're not talking about Wi-Fi. Quit trying to stream on Wi-Fi. You're wasting everyone else's time, including your own. Quit wasting your own time. One thing I noticed uh, that might be good for Jordan, myself, and Pedro is we're having to do the Mesa workaround for the alpha textures on Rocket League and other games. I know Jordan was playing one a couple of weeks back. That was uh, Deep Sky Derelicts. Right. That was fixed. That's good because one of the things they were saying, hey, man, we've improved. Uh, Well, there's just a gang of fixes for um, GLX composite capturing. That's great. Uh, More odd things you might not hear from other people. Uh, All of our Blackmagic hardware works. Our DeckLink output works. Let me rephrase that. Our DeckLink 4K works. The other one just eats poo when I activate that, but I didn't expect that one to work anyway. OBS WebSockets. They're working with a Linux browser, so we can still use the tablets for switching. And um, if you do keep track of the Open Broadcaster's blog, they even mentioned a little Vulcan coming up in the future. Yes. <laughs> kind of neat. <laughs> that, that, that could be really, really nice, or it could be really, really jank, because well, could well, be like anyone who's now. used... Anyone who's used OBS, uh, I've used it at any point. Yeah, <laughs> you've probably tried to remove an element from a scene, and OBS just comes crashing down. Nope, that's something that's still there. It's hard to do nowadays, but you can do it easily. I mean, I mean, so, uh, so, 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 Pager, are are you saying that new features implemented in a le- long-standing software project may introduce some instability? Mm-mm. Especially one that completely changes the base uh, graphics layer. What he, yes. pay, so Jordan, <laughs> Jordan, what he's implying is such a simplistic code base, like the one um, OBS is working off, such a small program. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, no. it's like, it's like FFM three of peg, segments. It's the simplest thing. <laughs> yeah, it's it. <laughs> it's ah, a thing. True. Let's keep rocking. Speaking, speaking of OBS, over. Ven, you, you did a thing. I made a thing, man. I made penguins rain out of the sky. Uh, John. I like doing little help things, man. People are like, I'm curious. How do I set up like the Streamlabs? We're using it for chat and uh, stream alerts. So just walked everyone through it. You know, it's easy peasy lemon chainsaw. Debian Ubuntu, you can figure it out. You can translate from that. You know, everyone's smart enough to do that. And it's just uh, setting up a Linux browser plugin. We'll just, come on, guys, put that in there. You know, you shouldn't have to download that as a plugin. Adding the browser source and just setting up your chat or alerts, then you can be like, oh my God, John, you're so cute. Until somebody like donates a dollar more than John, then. Uh, 
I, 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 I do I do like in that in that picture you have the little you have a little cleave showing. It's a oh, nice touch. <laughs> man. I, I, like, I was straight up 70s. I was driving back from the station today and it was like warm in Turbo Jetta. So like as soon as I sat down, even the underground garage, I like did, undid two buttons. And when I was walking to the grocery, I was like, Joe, man, it's like staying alive, dude. It was like <laughs> too hard for Twitch, dude. I stopped outside and was like, you're not being very decent, young man. <laughs> fix myself up. Venstone, Ven Ven very concerned. Then I spun decency. around and moonwalked my happy ass right in there. <laughs> anyway, you can find that at linksgamecast.com. A lot of OBS stuff. I'm going to be doing one for um, something I recently did. If you want to play with the bleeding edge experimental stuff and you're new, maybe to Linux and don't use an app image, don't use a flat pack, don't use a snack, snack of OBS, a snap. None of those. Don't do that. That's wrong. It's bad. You will have problems. Trust me. This is one thing I do know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> if, so, if, if you snack on OBS. There we go. I'll finish this sentence. And when, you can just pull it from Git, install it, and you can build it. You don't even have to install it. It'll be a nice little standalone or any home directory that you can experiment with. And if you don't like it, you just use one built in to your system. So, Pedro, you got that hot, sexy Raspberry Pi, and you're going to make it do bad and naughty things. Well, I did, actually, uh, earlier today. It's like the first thing is like, oh, yeah, we're going to be talking about Laka in the show, so might as well give that a try. And I did, and it does work. Uh, the fine, fine folks uh, behind Laka have uh, put out the Raspberry Pi 4 image, and it does work out of the box. All you need is something you can just DD the image to the... Um, SD card, or if you're using something like Etcher, that'll do it. Uh, they actually recommend that you use Etcher. Uh, and yes, it works. Uh, it doesn't give you, like, uh, w one of the things I notice is it doesn't give you the option to change the resolution of the monitor. It basically just goes, ooh, that's a UHD monitor. You're getting UHD. It's like, yeah, but the performance is crap. Don't care. Don't get an option to change that. Well, I know of a certain file that I can change. Oh my um, god, is that can crazy change. taxi? That is crazy. And yes, taxi. Uh, the Dreamcast. Apparently, it's playable uh, too. Yeah, the Dreamcast version of Crazy Taxi is absolutely playable. As are all of the uh, I mean, PSP right. uh, games that I have. Moment. We got to take a moment. No, that's a sexy case. All right. That, uh, yeah, it, it, that's that's yeah. pretty impressive. <laughs> we, we got really sexy at sixteen ninety nine. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, no, I, that's, I wonder that's if a it's very one of those ones where you case. have to like apply all the layers because they had a. I, I remember when I was working at Fedora, they gave us a bunch of Pi cases, and a couple of them you had to like layer one, layer two, layer three. I bought exactly four, one Pi case for the original Pi, and I put it on. And I was like, yeah, that's only going to work ever for this one. I never bought another one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, so 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 this art this article is from uh, hothardware.com too, and it's it's actually a review of Laka twenty three on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, which they're, they're they're saying that it's pretty good if you just want to set up a little emulation box and not give Nintendo or Sega or Sony uh, money for their little cute itty bitty consoles that come with their USB controllers that look like the old Super which Nintendo, which are basically and... just pies inside but more they're, they're, limited. They're, yeah, indeed. So <laughs> that that is that is definitely a thing. Yeah, one of uh, the things that they introduced with the new version is also they have a Vulcan only image if mm -hmm. you have an Nvidia system on um, an x64 base obviously uh you do uh you can just install laka and it'll give you a completely vulcan experience out of the box so with the uh do they have it for like the jets and nano or what no, 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 no. this ah. is for uh, x86 64 oh pff, no if you want to no, use we, that we need that air <laughs> I, I really I really do think that Nvidia is missing out by not let, not by not putting out a low cost like one of these boards to fuck around with because I think there would be some really cool embedded projects that could come out of it. Well, yeah. the ninety nine dollar compute board that Nvidia has is like really because I was I was genuinely genuinely upset when the Pi four four gigs just disappeared from the internet. It's like you know what, Rawr, I'm just gonna buy the jetson and i talked myself out of it but i kind of still want one man just like play with it see what we make it to but yeah per per periodically i see those like uh development enterprise arm systems like i want one of those because you they have they have pci slots you could put stuff in them <laughs> yeah. and make them do things uh, we're all secretly just um tweaking our nipples and waiting for risk mm. five mm, yeah, we yeah I've, i saw that uh micro atx motherboard it's like uh, 
I wanna, I wanna play with it, but it's so goddamn expensive. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, if, if you're if you're a Patreon, uh, you can actually submit show suggestions to us. And empty did that. Um, and lo and behold, someone has gotten Doom Three running pretty well on the Pi Four. Um, yep. It's not it's not mind blowing performance, but it is definitely playable. It's a little, it's a little shaky at times, but that's what what do you expect for a sub hundred dollar computer? I'm going to be real um, with you. We talked about this a little bit on the Wednesdays, yeah. and uh, they're going to walk you through running it. But hundred percent, my whatever rig I had at the time. I think this is doing a better job than it was, and I, it was definitely. I don't even know if I had a flat panel monitor when Doom Three yeah. came out. <laughs> Indeed, one 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 thing I am kind of curious though is like, could, uh, how how much Mesa optimization and how much engine optimization could be required to squeeze to just make it run more stably? Like maybe hold like a steady forty five fifty frames a second, because that would be really cool. That would be a really that would be a really telling show of the um of the gaming capabilities of the Pi Four. But, um, yeah, and yeah. what the dude says in the video is like, yeah, the processor, it's absolutely there. It could actually run Doom 3 without an issue. The bottleneck that they're hitting is the GPU. Apparently, the Pi 4 GPU is still not that great, which kind of well, explains it, why I was getting like 15 FPS. <laughs> it's 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 really good for multimedia decode because it was it was even the the original GPU was made for a uh, for like a set top box. Mm -hmm. It wasn't yeah the so it, it, yeah it, it, it's effectively trying to run um, run games on like oh, what was it the um, Philips CDI right? It's not it's not really designed for running games. You can technically yeah. and hell <laughs> you you can squeeze some decent performance out of Doom three. Um, That's something you definitely want to test on the Pi 4 is because uh, I know when it did release, maybe they've gotten um, hardware decoding working with VLC at this point. Mm, yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. Even uh, if you load up like just base Raspbian on it, uh, it'll even install the H264FI extension for Chromium uh, because it can't play whatever YouTube is trying to push it at 1080p60 right. in that particular format. It needs to turn it into H264. And then it can play it just fine. VP9. So, yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, no, the GPU is very much a limiting factor here. And you can see that in the video for Doom 3 because it's like, oh, the CPU is doing 25% and the FURPs are down to like 30. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> you got to think, though. I mean, genuinely 10 years from now, we'll be playing. We can already play Rocket League in MOBA, but like Tomb Raider. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On. A, a 20 pound like what a credit card size like that then yeah. you're like yeah you know just hook a laser six connection to the video via ar the network's just fine mm. yeah like almost zero latency <laughs> it'll be brilliant okay we got a game coming up Co coming up next my nose is a little running i i, I got a bit of a the little running or a lot of running it's a lot it's it's just too much cocaine man i got i got the sniffleheims And, and how about that uh, round of chemo you were asking about earlier? Because I think I need some of that right now. All right. <laughs> Why? Why do we got to give you chemo? Hey. I'm just saying that that pun gave me cancer. <laughs> I, You know what? I think that that cancer like just showed up and it had to get in line, dude. If we're being real. Yeah. It, they it, call me Cancer Tron. Tuna, tuna <laughs> banana, pizza cancer. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, that's just that's just that sounds like a grindcore album. I'd watch it. Give it to me, Red. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Turquoise yeah. Jeep. Ah, <laughs> uh, little like humbug. your girl. <laughs> Fried or fertilized. <laughs> mm. Show titles, vote.letterscamecast.com. Let's check in on that. Indeed. We got, we, got a, we got a couple more. It's going to hit plaid is uh, in the lead right now, followed by cream <laughs> yourself, yourself eat sandwiches and eat sandwiches and scream. And scream. <laughs> there shall be boots. All right, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll give cream yourself a boat. Here's a snack. It's a snack.
it's fun it's funny too you you bring you bring that up uh recommend because if you want to install like um what was it homebrew on a mac mm -hmm. they're literally just like yeah curl this ruby script and pipe and then just pipe it into shell yeah it's a good idea <laughs> Uh, they would do that too, wouldn't they? Well, and, but I mean, it, it installs it. And honestly, if you want to be able to, you know, do work on a Mac, you kind of need I homebrew. I guess if you completely trust the source. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to read through any Ruby. And then it's like, all right, fine. <laughs> Better work. Depackage. I just, I just want a non ancient bash. Is yeah. that too much to ask for? Yes, yes apparently. Clearly. Yes, go to downloadaddev.com. <laughs> Bashmymac.org. <laughs> that sounds like a very different website. Actually, that's one of the things that blew my little mind back in the day when I first uh, did the jailbreak on my iPhone 3. Uh, it's like, oh, look, we're installing dev packages mm. on an iPhone. Huh. <laughs> there was some nonsense about the um, new jailbreaks and stuff like that. I saw like headlines. I didn't read any further than that. I'm like, oh, they're still doing some things. Oh yeah, I went by the Apple Store. Um, that was packed. <laughs> well, it's Cambridge. There's not a lot to do. To, let's be honest. <laughs> Do they have like a totes bitching Apple store in Toronto? Maybe. Because the one in New so, York's unhinged, man. I'm like, damn. I can, so the, there's like there's one mall I can think of that like I've been to recently that has an Apple store, mm -hmm. but I, I stopped going there ever since I made the decision that I like my laptops to be field serviceable, and so I so. I've, I counter that and just buy Lenovo laptops these days. Hmm. I, I don't know. Also, also, like, the latest Macs have just been garbage in terms of hardware. Yep. They're so bad. Keyboards break if you so much as breathe on them wrong. <laughs> oh, dude, I uh, I had to borrow a coworker's Mac because I need to I need to just make some edits on a running system. Uh, and I had to I opened up VI and I went to hit escape and my finger smashed into the touch bar. I'm like, no. Ah, ew, gross and wrong, gross and wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I need that feedback. I need to press the escape key so I can colon WQ. Don't make me use a touch bar. I, I've never tinkered with that. I don't know anybody who's a... That would... I knew people that are on Macs and MacBooks, but nobody with the touch bar nonsense. I don't even know what I'd use that for. That's actually one of the laptops I'm missing. Outside because of playing I can't Quake find... on it at least once. I would play Quake on the touch bar. <laughs> that one time. Is Quake running on the touch bar? I know Some... Doom was. Somebody ported it. <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I know Doom was. I just didn't know Quake was also a thing. All right. <laughs> he has a store. He's looking at more. Yeah, man. I didn't realize how uh, small Lewis's uh, operation was. I'm like, geez. Yeah, first time I saw a video of him running through a store, it's like, oh, it's Jordan's apartment. <laughs> Wait, I spaced out. What about my apartment? <laughs> it wouldn't make a difference. Jordan's apartment that goes, yeah. <laughs> it is New York after all. <laughs> yep. Not a traditionally cheap place to live. Nope. On, on, honestly, I could probably find a cheaper place to live. I just like living within walking distance of work. That was the mental calculation you did getting that place. You're like, yeah, yeah. I can just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, I'm, 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 I'm trying, I'm trying to think where I want to, where I want to shove Strider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause like, 
technically what I am in right now is a bedroom, but that's not like a bedroom. It's Hey, does does that room you're in have a floor? Yes. Problem solved. Indeed. Uh no, I'm gonna get him a air mattress and make him sleep in front of the TV. I don't wanna do that. Or Oh, I leave mean, the eighty one fifty running. Yeah. <laughs> that that's the plan. Um no, my, that, that, that's the thing. I take up a lot of room on a bed, so I don't think he wants to spoon with me or he will die. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. He'll, 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 he'll come for the snuggles. Oh, he, he will, and then I'll accidentally roll over on him. <laughs> Did you just hear keep going? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I, I won't hear anything, because I'll be asleep. See a fist come out, like a flail on it, and he's like... Mm. <laughs> Someone wants to buy me a flail, please do. You don't have anything that's like you don't have any good white elephant gifts on your wish list. <laughs> what the fuck is a white elephant? I've looked. For me, a white I'm... elephant gift won my primary attack. This might be how I shop for people. There's something <laughs> to get you that would require you to get thing B to get use out of it. Ah. Or another thing would you know, like a plate. A plate, yeah, just just the one forty five pound. Yeah. I can I, see. I can actually use that though, because like, there's there's a lot of exercises you can just do with a plate. Waiters walks, halos, like weighted sit ups, weighted pull ups. Yes, you can totally get an albino elephant. <laughs> yeah, I, I need. I, I guess I need to go and like crawl through Amazon and see what I want to throw on the wish list. Because again, like it, it, it's so counter to my brain to like put up a list of things that I want people to buy for me. <laughs> That's why I don't use it like that. It's like, this is shit I'm going to buy. But then but I usually just keep that I have list. a couple of stuff that I probably would for never me, it's buy. Gotta be things that were, well, everything that's on our studio things for the studio, but it's stuff that I'm going to get for the studio. And I don't need like extraneous things of like, oh, wow, that's really nice, but I'm not sure what to do with it. There's none of that. Everything has a purpose. I mean, like, shit, I'm just... I'm I'm likely to just put a bunch of clothes on my on my wish list. Just buy me clothes, man. I'm not gonna buy them for myself. What what do I got on there that might be useful? A new pop filter. Um, a lot of oh yeah, long ass fucking power cord so I can use this desk as a standing desk. Finally. I was curious about that. I was like, because I just saw the power cords and I, I was like, I know FSM damn well. You have a billion power cords. Like anybody who's ever touched a computer once or even rubbed it. Yeah, but they're, they're they're not long enough to engage standing desk mode. That's mm -hmm. the yeah. I could have assumed was like, there's got to be something like that. That's like can't you zip tie it to like one of the legs? Long enough, Pedro. Long not zip tied enough. I, I mean, yeah, zip the, ties are really like, good for carrying electrical current. <laughs> well, then it would come unplugged, Pedro. It doesn't need to be on the desk. Zip tie it along, like, the brazy bit of the leg. <laughs> but it wouldn't I don't think you understand socket. how length works. Length goes this I, way. I can't see where the wall plug is on your end, no. On the wall. <laughs> it's it's on not the, up here. On, on, on the wall Spoilers, by the floor where they there. usually are. Right. It's down there where this <laughs> plug is. That yeah. plug. Yeah, even the smallest ones I can find are, like, a meter and a half. <laughs> That's five feet for you, Americans. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you took care of that. Cause... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, 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 you want, if you want to buy me that Music Man five-string bass, that'd be swig. I'd, 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 I'd totally like swig. Swig. Swiggity swag. Swiggity swooty. Coming for that booty. Um, All right. Let's do it. I want someone to buy me that butter infuser. It's dropped 5% in price. Now, now is the time. I'm going to be buying network equipment. Fun, exciting network equipment. But hey, you'll probably get like a video guide out of it, so... Like, this Maybe. is some bullshit I'm going to inflict on you. 
Um, even though I just said, um, try to keep the ums to them, like tone them down a little bit in the uh, chair position, Jordan. We'll try. Just, yeah. Collegian F. Num. <laughs> oh, none. Oh. Uh... I was reading show notes. We are locked. Wait, did did they did they send us keys? I don't recall. No, I found this on sale. Fortunately, uh, I'd be pissed if I paid it. Yeah, it's like fucking eighty percent off. Oh, uh, like, uh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna take that out so that I don't accidentally read shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, but none gave it to us. Hallowed all the chairs, and so be the chairquisition. <laughs> In three, two. We are the nuns of the Chairquisition, introducing you to the Chairquisition, where the accused must survive trial by Fedora, Solus, and Du Bois. And then, and only then, can the question be asked. This is fun! Uh, this week we're taking a look at Niflheim by a lot of games done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks. What is it? Your avatar is a brave warrior who has fallen in battle, but instead of finding well-deserved peace in Asgard, his soul is trapped in the harsh world of Niflheim. Survive this hostile world, ransack the neighboring lands, explore dangerous dungeons, and find your way to Valhalla deliverance. Um, we do a little thing where we talk about how this game runs before we get into how fun can it is. Can we do so a little ben, dance? We can make a little love if you want. <laughs> make a little love. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, over here in um, Steambox land on the Debian 10.1 with a Threadripper 1920X, 32 gigajoules of RAM, um, 9, wait, not 9, what do I got, a 2060 nine, NVIDIA, nine, nine. 9, 2060. Nine. <laughs> not a super, not a duper, just a regular old vanilla one. No issues. Didn't run into anything. I'm running XFC desktop, uh, Compton, and all that fun stuff. At 60, uh, 60 FURPS, 2160 UHD, 4K, what the kids call it. It claims it's running at a solid 60, but it's got just little micro herc and jerks. And yeah. same thing at 1080p, man. It's still there. You notice it if you look for it. Graphics-wise, it's solid. No glitches to report. Nothing's like spazzing out for me. And the controls. Happy to report. Fired up the wireless excellent controller. Everything was there. Worked out of the box. Every and bonus soda. Everything was mapped logically. So pretty much the only good thing I'm going to say about this game is it gets four chairs for makes with it working. Yeah, on Fedora 30, 64-bit with the i7 6700K with the uh, Spectre mitigations turned on and the GTX 1080 Ti, it indeed launches. Graphics wise or performance wise, it holds uh, 68 UHD, sort of, kind of. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. Uh, you got to cut VSync off, and yeah, actually, did you, did you have to enable full screen when you started it up? Yes. Yep. Yeah, because it la it launches in a window. Um, the graphics they're hand drawn. The animations look a little chunky, as do a bunch of the characters, but they're fine. No, no real issues there. And control wise, DualShock Four worked out of the box, but no DualShock prompts though, which is I'm 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 resigned to this fate, but I'll give it four chairs regardless. Yeah, that's weird that you weren't getting DualShock prompts because look at the game footage I uh, got. The weird. yeah. The Niflheim for me, it does launch. Uh, it does say it's holding 60 at 2160, but yeah, the frame time is all over the place. There's a lot of uh, frame jitter. Uh, the animations, they look all right. They're a bit stilted and a bit, you know, like string puppetry happening, uh, especially for combat, but I guess they do the gerb. What's the uh, controls. It's like Sultan Sanctuary, man. It, no, no, see, Salt and Sanctuary actually made some very good use of the limited animations with some of the weapons. Well, what about the um, like turn-based card game where you... Dungeons. That one. It looks like it's the cut oh, out um, art Artifact? No. <laughs> yes. No, Slate Aspire. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, Darkest Dungeons. Controls. Uh, I do have to dig it a chair for controls because while you can rebind keys... The game forgets those rebinds whenever you restart it, so that's no good. There are at least four different buttons that I counted that you can use to interact with things, and mm -hmm. one of them is up on the Choices. left analog stick. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm not joking. Uh, the game uses the analog stick to move the selection cursor in the menus, and that's completely, it's like that screwed with my brain because I'm hitting the uh, like the D pad, and Instead, the game is making me drop the weapons or unequip stuff. It's like, stop! No, stop! Bah, bah means stop. Ah. And, yeah, the 
to say that the controls feel floaty would be a gross understatement, so I'll give it three. Okay, I do have a question, though, for everyone at home, Pedro. On what operating system were you playing this on? Oh, yes, I was playing this on Solus uh, with the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080. You're welcome. I'm sticking up for you, audience. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> All right. Well, technical stuff's out of the way. Woo-hoo. Did you have fun with it, Ven? Subjective part. Get ready for the hater raid. Because crafting, question mark. He put crafting in my Viking simulator. Vikings only crafted one thing, people, and that one thing is pain. Then there's this motherfucker that I'm playing as. He spends his day bouncing about, cutting wood, picking carrots, and pumping kin. Then he gets killed to death by a fuck mothering wolf. True story. Right after, I finished, like, boring some skeletons to death by, like, rubbing a pointy stick against them. Did I mention this game of crafting? You know, the crafting, fucking crafting? Yes, it does. I tried, people. I did. I really did. 55 minutes of picking shit, cooking. I kid you not, there's an actual kitchen in this forsaken game. And inventory management, all things dear to my heart. I traveled to a city at some point. There was something about a dragon. They told me to get lost, which I did. I tapped that note button right right around when I got skullfucked by a wolf with just enough health to hobble back to my throne at the speed of smell. I'm not kidding. It took me like three damn minutes to get back, but it was a principle, and I was going to do it. Not one single thing I just mentioned. Not one of those things is the biggest crime this game has committed. Nay. That order falls to not giving me the slightest reason to do any of that nonsense. I don't like hand-holding, but this, this is full metal. Bloop, have fun scavenging, fucko. Have at, 100%. I mean, if you're looking for like a what the fuck am I supposed to be doing simulator, fair enough. You know, Stiffle Mime, it can deliver that. It can do it in spades. Hell, you know, it has multiplayer. You can bring along a friend to suffer in stereo. It could be brilliant. This is this is effectively 2D Minecraft minus the plot. So, oh, combat also sucks. Hard, hard work toes, man. It, it's not even combat. It, that's what I was saying, like rubbing. It's, it's, it's laughably bad. I almost forgot everything has a nanny bar, and I mean everything. Your picks, your swords, Q-tips, maybe they're in there. That's irritating when things break. I don't like that. So, do you think I liked it? Yes, I think no. Would. <laughs> would, 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 would you say this committed some niffle crimes? <sighs> yeah. All right. Well, this game is how how it's a little how you say bo- boring. Yeah. So it does similar things to games like Starbound or Terraria or Don't Star. You you wander around, gather stuff, try not to lose all your health, hunger, etc. It's kind of it. The other games kind of give you some other stuff to do, like exploring or platforming or whatnot. Uh, here, it's a little mindless. Um, you can basically just hold one of the three action buttons to do the thing until you need to turn around. Okay, so let, let's talk about that for a second, because Pedro brought it up a little bit. Um, what is the reasoning behind requiring you to pick up enemy drops with B, but everything else with A? That seems like a rel- relatively pointless distinction um, that I feel should have been caught in playtesting. I'll take 200 for poor game design, Alex. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, like Ven said, the combat is hilariously bad, too. It does like the Don't Starve thing, where you basically just hold down the button, and your your Viking will swing away, except, 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 it will swing at the closest thing to you, um, like which in many cases could be a rat instead of the axe-wielding skeleton <laughs> that's trying to carve chunks off True your ass, story. providing the aforementioned skeleton ample opportunity to just do that. Um, and after, after uh, on the fifth day, I get a notification that says, the horde is coming in 10 minutes. And I've said, you know what, maybe, maybe I'll stick around and see what, what's going to happen. I, 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 I couldn't. I really couldn't. There is online multiplayer, but I really don't think this is going to save the game. Uh, at least stuff like Don't Starve gives you robots and wear beaver, moose, slumber jacks. We, we could suffer through it. There's we could. We could We, we could make that a Patreon <laughs> goal. Like, there, there's clearly stuff to do. The, the dungeon crawling is kind of interesting where there, there there's some mapping stuff. If, if the game was more tightly focused around that, I think I'd probably be a little more... Um, a little more favorable towards it mm. but as it stands it just kind of does everything in a meh perspective or in a, in a meh measure and it's not really doing it for me i'm gonna give it one chair 
Yeah, it, it is very much don't starve, but with a side view instead of the isometric one. Um, everything feels like a chore, and of course, your character starts to complain, I'm hungry, about 30 minutes into the game. So, I'm hungry. And, <laughs> yeah, but that's you, Jordan. Uh, there's something to be said about pacing. It, pacing in a video game, it, it basically can make or break it. Uh, and especially when it comes to atmosphere, if you want to, like, uh, in a horror game, if you want to make a horror game feel like a, a horror game, uh, you kind of need to nail the pacing down, because if it's too frantic, then it's not a horror game, it's just Doom 3, it's, uh, jump scares, uh, and if you slow it down a little too much, you get all of those really crappy ones, uh, in the Unity Ghetto on Steam, but... You know, while Vikings do live up north and there's a lot of snow going around, to describe the pacing in Niflheim as glacial would be damning it with fine praise. And fine praise it does not deserve, because it's boring. I feel like the game is deliberately wasting my time, and those are two major sins that any video game just cannot ever even think of committing, because... It's a video game. It's supposed to be entertaining. It's supposed to actually want you. To, it's supposed to elicit something in How you, do you, even if it's just Stardew escapism. Valley. That's the same thing. Some people actually consider that escapism. I can sort of see that because, in my case, I like like Euro Truck Simulator and um, Mud Runners. I I love those games, but this one, it's just plain boring. One chair. Well, there you go. It, it makes me want to die and not go to Valhalla, just See, rot on the ground. I would at least have had a little more entertainment. I'm watching because I'd leveled up my beating pointy stick to the point where I was one-shotting everything. Mm -hmm. And that's when it just really got everything. When things became annoying, except for wolves. I, you know, I, I was actually wolves able to have kill a lot two of wolves. HP. Yeah, yeah, isn't that right? You're just like tapping the skeletons, just shattering them. You get to the wolf, wolves like, fuck you, you're dead. And then you uh, so so my, my, my strategy for dealing with the wolves was just like, fill them up with arrows. And then once they had like no health left, just smash them to death with the iron sword. Well, that um, once I realized how to use the shield. I was like, Ooh. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it does a little damage reduction, then you get it. Uh, it's it's yeah, not fun. Yeah. It, 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 There's it really is There's a lot isn't. not to like, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Coming up next, I get to remind Ven to cut the music on, and then we get in some hate mail. Womp womp. Fourth wall. And scene. Me. Me. Frine. <laughs> Pager is the frying lord. It's actually a word. <laughs> Sounds like some shit Morgan Freeman would bring up. I'm not going to fry on this. You sound like you're constipated, Mr. Freeman. <laughs> you're not feeling well this evening. <laughs> Dr. Freeman. It sounds like if you were Vincent Price who got a job as like a Catholic priest and are trying to lure some children in to drink some Jesus juice. <laughs> Hello there, little boy. I can smell you. Yeah, little boys stink. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I keep... I will not be in smelling distance of fucking children. I, 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 I have friends with, like, babies now, so... I do, too, and they're not allowed in my house. <laughs> Tracy's daughter just turned 16. And she's like, well, you teach me to drive. And I'm like, why are you blowing me up for this? She's like, my mom can't drive. <laughs> it's like, damn. It's like, man, I've been riding with her for 16 years, man. <laughs> I might uh, teach her how to drive go a drink. <laughs> Do some J turns. I take turbo jetter, man. Show her how to drift. That'll piss her mom off. <clears throat> I think that's a belt with fucking bullets on it. Cool. 
could be. Maybe? It seems a little wide to be a belt, but that just might be... Possibly, it. hang on. Where's Enhance. Black Magic Pedro? Damn it, damn it, Pedro. Nope, nope, there he is. I think that's a bullet belt, Doug. Like, I'm seeing golf tees, but... Hey, hang on. Ah! Go away. We need more light. Just, just send a frame on Pedro's dick. Bump, yeah! Bump, bump, yeah! Damn it, now I have to de it. it. <laughs> Crotch shot. In small and... And Smolin, yes. Quit using your science terms. This is a family show. It's it's a perfectly cromulent <laughs> word. <laughs> okay, under and over, is that a bullet belt? Yes. Ha. Alright. <laughs> Jordan thought it was golf tees. I thought it could be golf tees. Alleged golf tees. <laughs> See, I, I said right off the bat, that looks like some stupid shit Pedro would wear. You know what? Uh, yes. You're not wrong. You're not <laughs> wrong. And has anyone seen the type of footwear and leather pants I wear? I mean, come on. I'm not talking shit without having it myself, right? <laughs> I have like zero fashion sense. I wear. Admittedly, slacks I saw that on Amazon. It's like, that looks really nice. Mm. And it's actually a really nice belt. You know I'm what? I'm pondering you actually removing the bullets and replacing them with golf tees. Yes. Uh, no, just removing the bullets and letting it be just a black belt. <laughs> you, 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 could, you could put more dangerous things in there, like cigarettes. <laughs> or or, or Wi-Fi antennas. Ooh. I genuinely do not own a pair of blue jeans. I'm that guy. My, uh, I just... Okay, I... S since, since I started powerlifting and since my, like, legs got huge, mm -hmm. I can't... Like, a pair of jeans will not last me, like... A few months before. Yeah, but the that doesn't stop you trying to fit into those skirts. Well, that's because I want to show off my ass. Yeah. I work hard. I work hard on it, man. Then in mini skirts. Oh yes. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> four, four, four hundred and fifty pound pause squats don't do themselves for no reason. Listen, man, I'm just saying it might have been a mini skirt till it tried to get wrapped around all that junk. <laughs> that's that's a <laughs> micro junk inside that trunk. <laughs> Relax fit jeans. I, I wear dress pants. I like polyester, man. Yeah, for, for for me, it's it's the inner thighs. They just get worn out too quickly. I got... My thighs don't rub. I got a thigh gap. Oh, well, look at you, you skinny bitch. Damn straight. Get my beach buddy. So do I. I'm, not, I'm nowhere near as skinny as Ven is. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I have leg strength, so. Eh. so I don't they're, they're, skip they're... leg day. Every day is leg day. Yeah, it's called walking. Relax foot? No, man, if I had jeans, I would have to get like the like a, an authentic pair of Chuck Norris action jeans. <laughs> so that you can do split kicks? Fuck yeah. Can you do split kicks? I could never do like that. I could do the scissor splits. I couldn't do yeah, the like sideways the, splits uh, and it's just not wise. happening. Uh, <laughs> actually, Gigi Mufu has a tutorial on how to like work up the flexibility to do that. I can get back to it. Most of that comes from like it's counterintuitive. It's getting your um, forehead back on your knees when you're sitting like this. That does it. Like once you get where you can just hold that with the tip of your toe, like comfortably on both sides, you can almost easily, no problem, press down. It's just like that, North Ranger. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that makes me want to like be around some semi-trucks, some lorries. <laughs> With some Enya in the background. Fuck yeah. Makes me want to dip my <laughs> hands into glue and then into glass shards. What are you asking me out on a date, Pedro? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Nori's been gone one day, jeez. <laughs> Not even that. <laughs> <laughs> Not even that. All right, let me grab something to drink and... Oh, we gotta do show titles real quick. Vote.linuxgamecast.com, fam. Smash that vote button. 
Eat Boop. sandwiches oh, and scream has taken the lead. <laughs> followed by we're gonna hit played. Followed by cream yourself. Infidora. In a, in <laughs> Infidora's Davida Gavita baby. <laughs> <laughs> Infantara da Vila, honey, don't you know that I love you? Infantara baby, don't you know that I always the weirdest, weirdest PlayStation commercial ever. I told you to lay off the drugs. I mean, you need to be on drugs to sing Inagata da Vida and then listen to a 17 minute drum solo afterwards. Man, Inagata da Vida is a great thing to, like, if you're walking around the house, like strumming on your fucking guitar because you have you, as one does, that's just like that. Um, smoke of the water. There's a couple. I, of... I, I usually do "Live to Win" by Motorhead. That one, that one's mm. easy enough to hammer out. That's a good one. In the garden of Eden, honey, don't you know that I love you? Yeah. Actually, Blind Guardian does a decent cover of uh, Inagata De Vida, but it's not, it's like a four minute cover and not like the 16 minute one. What else am I? Oh, like Dead Leaves in the Dirty Ground. So it's like the one white stripe thing. I can, like, do long division and, like, brown, 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 just doing that riff over and over when I'm trying to think of something to play. Pretty lazy. All right. I need to get better, music, I need to get better at playing slap while you had the crotch shot going. <laughs> Do you ever play speed pipes? I mean, I've smoked speed from a pipe. Does that count? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Just, just do some meth. Like playing the pan pipes with ele an electrical blower on each of the pipes. <laughs> But yes, um, once you bring the resolution of the Raspberry Pi 4 down to like 1080p, you can use it as a desktop replacement if all your desktop use is internet browsing and like document writing. That's perfectly acceptable. <laughs> it performs about the same as that 10 year old um, Latitude E4200 that I have. How about you, Jordan? Are you looking forward to any games coming out recently? <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to Darkest Dungeon 2 when that finally drops. Um, nothing I've seen so far like really excites me. But I'm I kind of want to play Remnant from the Ashes. I'm really picky Souls. when it comes to games though that like I get into. <laughs> so I, I would like to stream some. Negativo automatic tomato, but this, 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 that ain't gonna fuck. I, I, I can play it. And that's about all. Um, here's a weird package that doesn't ship in Debian 10.1. Strange flex. Check install. But the thing for checking if like a library is installed? No, for making um. Dev packages. Oh, I've never used it. So. Yeah, it's because you're a filthy Fedora user. Poser. <laughs> I'm, 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 just, I'm just posing as a Linux user. I actually just use BIOS. Mm -hmm. Haiku! No, not even Haiku. I just use BIOS. <laughs> Who's leaving soon? Run everything as root with the Unix. <laughs> hey, man, I run like six 
what is it? Is, is it backtrack Linux? What is it called? Um, Cali the, Linux. Cali honey? Note. Yeah, it's what the kids <laughs> call it these days. That's their street name for it. I, I, I may I or may not have a laptop with Kali Linux. <laughs> I just keep it on a flash drive because you shouldn't use it as a daily driver and they even tell you not to. I'm going to be 100% <laughs> honest with you. The thing I keep on a flash drive that is on my keychain is a copy of 1804 Ubuntu because that has a higher percentage chance of fucking booting on damn near anything than any other distribution. Out of the I, box I, to I, get I, you to a desktop. I, I usually keep a recent version of Fedora on my Huskies. I don't because I might run into a 2060 or a 20 series NVIDIA card and I'm fucked. <laughs> I, you, you, can, you can still get into like run level three, no? It won't do shit. Do you, if you, you have to like to go through the... No, it just eats shit. I mean, I, I don't have a 20 series card, so I can't tell you from any of the Oh, pity wise, you're late, sweetheart, but thanks. Thanks for caring. You can basically disable no mode set and run everything... Basically, just use the GPU as a pass through for whatever the CPU is doing for graphics. <laughs> That's the only way you're gonna get there, right? But like, I'm not. If I'm booting off, if I'm booting Linux off a thumb drive, I'm not interested in graphical performance. I'm. I usually have a purpose in mind, like yeah, changing their passwords. Yeah, mine's as easy or, as possible. Uh, like, boop, give me a desktop. Boop. I, I actually, I, I prefer X. If I'm gonna be honest with you, because I need, I don't want to have like six fucking terminal windows open. <laughs> Because I'm usually in there to unfuck something. <laughs> Personal preferences, man. Yeah, I used to have like a 4 gig USB flash drive that had... I think it was Puppy with persistence set on the flash drive itself. So it was basically, yeah, just carry around operating system. <laughs> Haven't people like made Windows portable in some ways? There used to be a tool that you could download to make that happen yeah. with Windows XP. I, beyond that, I wouldn't know. <laughs> that would be. Well, it's it, it it's it's a lot easier these days because like the activation is done on the motherboard as opposed to the uh, as opposed to on the actual install itself. So, thumb drive bootable Linux is a lot more, or not uh, thumb, but thumb drive bootable Windows is a lot more feasible these days than it once was. I remember the days when you could just reuse the same key over and over again. You just have to phone their activation line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, yeah, my key doesn't work. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> I've definitely been in the same room with somebody just going down the where sites back in the day, just going down the list until he found one that let him install. And this was like Windows 98, maybe. Maybe Windows <laughs> NE. That's how we did it I remember running um, like completely pirated version of Windows XP. It was called the Windows XP Gaming Edition. <laughs> and the only the reason I edition. liked it. Yeah, because it um, came with like all of the superfluous services disabled. So it's like, oh, it's running 12 processes in the background and it's using about 500 megs of RAM. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? We need to start doing like we need to start making stupid mug faces and then doing oh, the white outlines. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Just, I just, mean, that's just easy enough to do. Just Intel make cards. a drop shadow white. There, done. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no. in GIMP, that's a little more of a pain in the ass too, but it's doable. I know how to do it because, like, how do you fucking do that? And it's like ah, it's like let's never do that. Yeah, just set the drop shadow instead of. You know, being slightly offset, center it, increase the border, that, that, make it white. But you would increase the border, yeah, and then... Yeah. Well, it's GIMP. There's six ways to fucking do everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything. <laughs> and there's probably, like, two other plugins that let you do it in a different way. <laughs> Let's get a bow on this. Did you cut the music on? Working on it. Hey, Mir, if you actually watch that video, you'll you'll notice that he, he uses Blender and it can't take advantage of 128 threats, but I didn't already say that. He's using a special Blender to make margaritas. I haven't had a margarita in a minute, man. 
Which is good because every time I think about that, I want to buy one of those industrial margarita makers. The, the... Yeah. <laughs> the slushy machines. <laughs> I never had that idea when I had a bar and we had one of those old ass ice cream machines. It's probably a good thing I would be dead by now with diabetes and alcohol poisoning. <laughs> no, you, yeah, you do the Barney Gumble thing where you just like lie down yeah. underneath it and just. You know, I never did that. Thought about it. Never did it. Something about cutting up my gums. It's never, it's never too late. <laughs> All right. Oh, Margaritaville? That one? Is that the one you're talking about? No, never heard of it. All right. Okay, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Weird. <laughs> Let's get weird, fam. We're going to take two on that. Is the music on? Music was on. Pedro was kind enough to rewind. Remind me. Thanks for reminding me to remind Van Jordan. That's why, that's why I put notes in the show notes, because they remind yes. us of things. <laughs> Shocking. Okay. Now what do we have? All right, everything's working now. All right. Okay. <laughs> Recording. <sighs> Let's just get through this. In three, two. And that was a big show. It nope. was certainly a bit bigger than uh, last week's. But hey, chances are, if with a show that big, probably have some ammunition to uh, load that particular gun of choice of yours and head on over to LinuxGameCast.com, hit the contact button, and fire away at us. Basically, just let us know exactly how wrong we were and in what bits exactly and uh point on the doll exactly where we touched you i, so. I, don't, I don't know what, what, what you described basically in my mind said go to linuxgamecast.com and then shoot your monitor <laughs> you can do that if you'd like little column a little column b we suggest that you have two monitors before visiting linuxgamecast.com preferably an older mobile device sacrifice it for yes <laughs> sacrificial lambs. blood blood dude all right so was it last week we, was that the license thing with steam last week i believe the week before? so it, 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 it's hard to tell the yeah. things tend to blend together don't it they? just blurs together but we yeah. were talking about um space france they were throwing down a thing they're like yo man you gotta let people transfer that license that you get from us when you air quotes buy a game from steam and we weren't necessarily against it or for it, were we? Was like, we, yeah, we, 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 were, we were more hung up on the logistics of how that would actually be done. Right. It's like, are they just going to completely block yeah. out France? So, 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 so <laughs> me, me, Mele says, in regards to Le Steam, transfer of license should not be a big deal for Steam. I would rather buy a game from someone on Steam for cheap rather than risky G2A. Um, and... It's kind of missing the forest for the trees there, uh, because G2A has an entirely different issue. But yeah, like maybe maybe a secondary market because it would it would enable Valve to continue to take a cut, which would probably be good for their business analyst folks. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't know, man, because France is like doing that. To, I think they would go ballistic if it seems like yes, it will we'll charge you to transfer. No, I'm pretty sure uh, they wouldn't be opposed to like the marketplace already works mm -hmm. because everyone seems to be fine with trading cards and the um, CSGO skins and whatever else. Everyone seems to be fine with how the Steam marketplace works. So yeah, selling a game and then Valve taking like 10% of each transaction. Okay, this, <sighs> I should have thought about this ahead of time. 
do you, would it be like open, like you just name any price that you want, or would Valve have a set price of like you can? So, so here, you could here, probably here, here, set any price that you want. I guess here, the market here, here, would dictate here's, here's how much it would actually be could, worth. Okay, so so here's here's a thought. Uh, if you're if you're gonna be leveraging like the the um, Steam trading infrastructure, then you would need effectively some way to internally value the games so that you could ensure that when trades go through, it's either it, it would either be purely ad hoc or you can say like, well, my copy of Vendetta: Curse of the Raven's Cry is worth like a Dark Souls and and uh, and like that's a, already how that works Niflheim. with oh with the current system. <laughs> Lads, we didn't think about it the other way. What about games that I know we all have collectible games that are no longer available for purchase on Steam. Earth 2049 or some right? shit. Yeah. And shit like that. And yes, those could probably be worth an extra penny, but that's the whole skins argument. It's like, why is a knife skin on Counter-Strike Global Offensive worth a thousand bucks? It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not, but it's selling for that and people are buying it for that. Well, 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 so, welcome, welcome to the realm of fiat currency where things are just what people agree they're worth. Do, do you think Valve and, would like suffer like the G2A thing? Because the biggest issue with the G2A, I mean, it really hits indie developers hard, is, wow. I, I have a motorcycle gang, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bet that was loud as fuck outside. Um, all right, back to point. Um, neighborhood's awake. <clears throat> was, you know, stolen you know credit cards and they'll buy a gang and they, they won't pay attention they end up getting chargebacks later on they're like ah now i can't keep track of what's what i would rather like just do that directly through steam like if i get how many like we were talking about how many hundreds of games do we have that just aren't played and like yeah i personally would never go through the trouble of it but you get like two or three bucks for it yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the 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 other interesting thing would be like, well, what if it's like a refund alternative, where instead of like, if you're within like the under two hours, under two weeks window, you can like sell it to someone else for some kind of reduced cost. I don't know. Like, it's an it's a that's the whole thing about it. It's in a, it's a massive logistical problem that some court is trying to impose on Valve without really thinking about the specifics of it. They just know that thing bad. Don't do mm -hmm. thing. This is true, and we were even talking about, like, what if they did the same thing? Because in Australia, we got to thank all of our brothers and sisters in Space Australia for refunds, because Valve's like, fuck, if we got to do it here, let's just do it everywhere. Yeah, because nah. the, if Australia is doing it, chances are other people are going to start wanting to sue us right. to do the same, so well, let's just get ahead get of the game of there. Right. Yeah. Which, which, which may ultimately be a moot point if the appeal goes through and succeeds. So... <sighs> Okay. And it, there's already history of that. G Germany ruled in favor of Valve on this very same issue. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> indeed. So, uh, next, mo mo I, Monster Cameron, you Earl, know, you love him. He shows up sometimes, dude. He, he writes does. Uh, AMD. He, he's throwing the, he's throwing some shade on Pedro. He writes, Pedro, Pedro bought an AMD card. I'll admit, I haven't watched LGC in months, but I just so happen to know. Play by play, anything that Pedro does that's AMD related, completely unrelated. Mm -hmm. um, Stalker. <laughs> but, you know, I haven't watched the show in months, guys. But how <laughs> to how boring gaming is, but this is unprecedented. I have one to which Pedro's like old AMD laptop like laughs. <laughs> it's like, yeah, in FGLRX. I started. I started my uh, journey. You in were Linux. Our AMD test bed for years. Yeah. <laughs> I started my journey in Linux with an ATI X7, uh, X700, and then I got the calculator that I started uh, to do the show in, which had uh, an ATI Mobility Radeon 5650 HD. So, yes, Cameron, I know exactly how bad AMD cards Pedro, were why are you on wasting Linux your breath? He doesn't time. watch the show. Yes, clearly. Because he, uh, he just but, likes to talk. Yeah, right now... The RX 570, it works pretty well, and Jordan has uh, an RX 580, and that works pretty well too. I, so. I, I also I also yeah. have a Vega 11 that were or a Vega 10 that works very mm -hmm. well. Yeah, I have a Vega 11 uh, on the 2400G that works very well too. <laughs> the 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 state of AMD graphics under Linux continually improves, and, and that's I, nice I thing. absolutely have an open PO box for anybody if you're throwing out you know Vega 7. I'll take one of those, but. Outside of that, 
We need HBO to bounce out of here, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls. So you know what? That's that's not the right thing, man. There we go. Cue the music. Take three. <laughs> you can always find us around 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. Come put us in your face organs. It's going to be sexy. But if you are a patron, an hour before that, we do the pre-pre-super shows. And it's terrifying. It's our little pre-production meeting if you want to get in on that nonsense. And our new unlocked thing for executive producers, the video component, so you can watch us live. But after the fact, that'll be up for everyone. Um, scream in my face, at Vin Stone on Twitter, or I'm just at Vin at mast.linuxgamecast.com. I'm Jordan Smung. You can find me showing off pictures of my butt on Twitter. No, I'm not, I'm not one of those people. But you can still Bounce. follow me at The Burning Fool on Twitter. How much, or do, how, how, how much for animated GIF is you twerking in short shorts? Um, 100 bucks. All right. I'm Three. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure if you did post some um, butt pictures on Twitter, you'd get a few more followers. I am Pedro Mateos. Good luck finding any pictures of me on the internet. Well, there's a couple, but that's we, about we, it. We, we got some nice cross shots of you, so there, that's the thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vent can turn that into a GIF later. <laughs> we got to thank lovely people. Name and lights, name and credits. Let's roll them. All right. Look, look at all these. It's a collapse wave. Oh, someone's been watching physics documentaries. Maybe. All right. Well, we, we got our executive producers. We got to thank, like, Empty and Haplo. And Mac Geek and all the Patience, other Patience, old Skywalker. No. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I have to disappear into nothing. <laughs> like unicorns. Arthur and, or uh, Mr. Foxdog, who also dis disapparated. Empty just appears out of nowhere and buys you alcohol. All these oh, yeah. Atomic Spooks. is always there. Mike G is always there. And uh, Ron <laughs> mm. I look, at, look at all those lovely regular producers. Like and Jupiter Wata, Broadcasting. Steven. And Don't forget Ranger. Igor, man. Igor's a pimp. Is it Igor or Igor? I'm it's never Igor sure. for me, baby. Always Igor in my heart, along with Max, Yabo, Koike, Zoe, Jack, Colsta, Nicole, Wintercell, Shervik, Vonzo, 2000, Ulrich, Linux, Nuru, and Adrian. No longer in Tanzania. <laughs> and we got the people on Frank's Fuckwall, like Mac G and yes. Maddie and Truggy and Aldius and Arthur and right. Bradley, Jill, Steve and Strider and Dan W and Erod and John and Murad and Klunka and Matt the Admiral Jit and some other guy and then <laughs> and Ryan friends. and Jay and Jay Rulo, <laughs> Jelly Bean and Haplo. Uh, <sighs> also, special mention to Chris B for the AT2020. Thank you. <laughs> and everybody on Twitch, uh, Mike Tehan, I've heard of that guy. He did a sub thing, and that was kind of sexy. That's what we learned this yeah. evening. My, Mike Tehan is a sub. Subs are no longer just a sandwich. Dynafire for one. Bye. Peace. Episode of Arms and Brain Cells done. Neat. <laughs> Welcome back to another weekly daily Wednesday on mm -hmm. Saturday. Well, like, yeah, still Saturday. All right. <laughs> Gonna go full metal, Mr. Rogers, in a bloodstained sweater. It's time for the after shows and after hours. Do, 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 do. Yeah, supposedly, it's single digits outside, but I'm still sweating in here. How? Wait. What are we at? Uh, it's 24, which, all things considered, not bad. Never mind, it's 15 outside. Yeah, that probably explains that. <laughs> Open a window. <laughs> yeah. It's 15 degrees Celsius currently. Yeah, same here. How was the Raspberry Pi store? You're popular. Your reviews have over 3,400 views. Okay, all right. When did that happen? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> The Google Maps thing. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 guess, I guess we gotta check in on Chatbot one last time before we uh, uh -oh. move on to other things. Gonna hit plaid and eat sandwiches and scream our tide on vote.linuxgamecast.com <laughs> if you want to influence what the show title is gonna be for this upcoming episode that you just done watch the recording of. Go up there and vote. Uh, North Ranger, no, not yet. I did, uh, while ju I was just testing to see if it would uh, actually put out uh, UHD. 
Uh, I kind of reached over and touched the uh, top of the IHS on the SOC. Oh. It's like, ooh, okay, that's a bit toasty. <laughs> it's the equivalent to touching like an eye on your hob. Like, you know, yeah. it's hot, but you, you just want to be like, oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, you're working. Yeah, you're yeah, that, yeah, that's hot. I, okay. I, I don't know. For me, it's like, sometimes it's just, I want to feel pain. Ow. Okay. <laughs> I don't. As somebody who has to wake up in like a perpetual state of low grade pain all day, no, I'm good. I don't, no more. I'll just take my aspirin. Ah. <sighs> I, 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 I have some weird masochistic tendencies where it's like, I'll just do shit to hurt myself for no reason. Enough about your sex life. <laughs> I, w I wish it was sexy, because at least then it would have a point. I'll just be like, sitting around like, I should just stab myself. Ow. Nicotine. It helps with that. <laughs> mm. what we Baby, I can pay you to a kiss from the heat sink on the... Oh, kiss it. Rail. Kiss it. All right, Seal, calm down. <laughs> but we're never going to survive unless we get a little crazy picture. He's, he's just blubbering a little bit. <laughs> he just I needs only, love I, because I, I love's divine. Two, I only know the two Seal songs, Crazy and Kiss by Rose. Love's divine. I never heard that one. <laughs> Well, Pedro goes and looks up YouTube stuff, I'm gonna go smoke some drugs, I'll be back. <laughs> there. <laughs> Fuck you, I got my disco lights going on, bitch. <laughs> This music sounds like it could be straight out of GTA 3, GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas, any of those games. <laughs> I could drive to this music. I could possibly shop to this music. Like twice. I've never played GTA 5, nor will I. Played, um... They almost got it, at least the single player campaign for me, they almost got it perfect. It's just the character switching is really annoying. <laughs> it's like, oh, you can't uh, do anything else with this character. You need to switch to another character. It's like, I don't like the other characters. I like the dude that can drive the cars and I hit caps lock and it goes into slow-mo mode and the cars all have magical grip. And then hit caps lock again and it returns to regular speed. Yeah. I don't like the other ones. <laughs> I'm still thinking of all the things I could do to this. It's theme music, man. It's very important. I know one thing I'm going to do it. I'm going to save roughly 12 gigabytes of audio. Sizable chunk. <laughs> Multi-track audio recording. Lossless. 32-bit <laughs> float. Ladies and gentlemen. Fun times. And by all. So, and that is Pedro. why I keep... Pedro. Yes. I heard you got to experience the joys and wonders of USB 3 video capture devices. I did. <laughs> Mostly because I plan to do something with it on Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> I heard you got one working. Yes. And it's uh, it required a lot of... Uh, going around testing all of the USB 3 capable ports on my motherboard and the front of the case. Uh, and I found the one bank that it seems to work in, which is the one next to the um, Ethernet port. Like all the other ones, there's some weird like artifacting on screen. It looks like JPEG compression, but it's not. Mm -hmm. 
It's just that Bandwidth. one bank it actually gives proper picture. Okay, like, I'm, I'm huh. going to need you to plug three more in and make them work. <laughs> but the thing was, it's like I have the two, or I had the two uh, USB 3.1 Type A ports mm -hmm. uh, free. It's like okay, these are 3.1, so they should work. 15 FPS at best. It's like seriously. <laughs> no, Pedro. I'm gonna need you to get three of them running at 1080p 60. <laughs> They're a bit pricey. I mean, just one of these is pricier than that Raspberry Pi with the power supply and the micro HDMI cable. <laughs> For everyone playing the home game, Pedro got just a little nibble, a, a taste of the fucking nightmare. <laughs> that I was going through twice a week. Because you don't set them and forget them. You got to shuffle things around, kids. <laughs> it's never... This, this is why I have black magic devices now, because you know what? They work. You just cut them on. Done. PCIe, man. Yeah, I got to get one of those single HDMI in ones that there. <laughs> uh, what do you... Yeah, get, get one, put it on 8X, and uh, yeah, USB 3... PCIe cards, then you put another one on USB C bus. <laughs> oh, I'm still using them in the Optiplexes. Uh, each one has a USB 3 yep. PCIe card. They were, boop, boop, boop. But for this box, man, because you think that was the nightmare, no, the nightmare was OBS. Because <laughs> OBS couldn't. I don't know which is which. <laughs> that, about that time that Venboy started learning about UDEV rules. Oh, man. What's our after show look like? Let's see. After games. Let's game. Yes. Let's start Steam. Oh, I got some, I, I got some background. Look at it. <laughs> oh, buck <hair. laughs> What? This is a family show. We don't do that here. What? <laughs> No, that's Bukaki, that's something else. <laughs> Scourge. Um, oh, Reckman is North Ranger. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I honestly, I don't pretend. <laughs> <laughs> I always try to tell everyone, um, and I'll chat with anyone, especially like on Steam. Or Steam, you're just throwing those words away. You're wasting your time because the last thing I see when the computer shuts down was the Steam messaging window. It's an excess. It's like the thing. window comes up and then it's gone. <laughs> it's like, I was like, oh well. And but especially if you use a different name, if I know you from Discord, if I know you from Twitter, then. You're like, you know, Stoolmaster18009 on a different service. You're like, just start chatting. I'm like, dude, help me out. Like, give me some clues. <laughs> New Steam, who this? <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Oh. I don't want to learn about network. <laughs> but yeah, I look forward to uh, trying Destiny 2. If that works, it'll be what nice is Destiny to play 2? with. A uh, third-person shooter thingy. Oh. Destiny oh. 1 had Peter Dinklage doing the robot voice. Wouldn't know. <laughs> um, do you know what I did play? I, I don't like it or hate it, but I was just curious. Um, Warfame. You ever tried that? No. I know what it is, but I never played it. No, it's, like, it's free to play. It might be pay to win. I don't even fucking know. It's like third person shooty thing. And Similar to Destiny 2 from what I hear from Dave and Nathan. They okay. play both of those. <laughs> I was just curious. I was like, what's the performance like with this new version of Proton? And it's like, let's try something. Ah, this doesn't cost anything. Let's just 
try this real quick. A-B test. I'm like, ah, I played it. How long did I play it? I'll tell you exactly how long I played it. I played it for 36 minutes, which is quite impressive. Pooter shooter. <laughs> shooter dooter. <laughs> Well, it's like whatever, man. I mean, we're just a bunch of losers playing with PCs because, like, the PS5 is going to do, like, a 4K at 144 hertz. Streamed, yes, maybe. <laughs> 8K60, yeah. <laughs> okay. like Apparently, even the 2080 Ti can't push that. Nah, son. <laughs> It's like 1480s is UHD. Like four UHDs is like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like somehow this uh, 1080 manages to BS itself into very, very playable fla uh, frame rates in most games in UHD. Mm -hmm. But I have no illusions if I tried to put that uh, 570 through the same pace as it would just go. No, I don't even bother with it. I, I, I love that streamer life. This is Tinity be windowed gaming for me, baby. Like if I'm playing games for myself, it's like full screen, UHD, 24 inches, so it looks really crisp, really nice. I don't even need um, aliasing. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, yeah, 24 inches, 38, 40, 21, 60. It's pretty good. <laughs> I do 38, 40 by 21, 60. Another reason I don't do full screen often is because I have a 43 inch fucking monitor. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> 1080p for me is genuinely, like, size wise, 21.2 inches. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, that. that's good. PC server tower? Man, where was it hiding? Like under the house? <laughs> was it in a puddle? Just let me die already. <laughs> Five and a quarter inch base. I don't really have any of those because I have the um, Corsair 750 case. Five yeah, five and a quarter inch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I really haven't felt the need to have um, an optical drive in many, many years. <laughs> what? Here's the biggest thing. I know this is going to sound lazy as fuck, but it's true. I'm being honest with everyone. As I'm like, it would probably be fun to put Linux on like one of my Sun Ultra 5s or Ultra 10s <laughs> and like do it live and walk everyone through. It's like, this is how you navigate the OBP. It's kind of like a BIOS kids and just set everything up and set up your networking. It's like, this is how we did it back in my day. And, but, there's no USB on those, so I'd have to use a DVD drive, which would require me taking a DVD drive. Honestly, I don't think I could do it, because the DVD drive I have is uh, ATA. Parallel ATA? No! Ribbon cable. Yeah, parallel. Well, parallel. Yeah, all right, yeah, brain <laughs> derp. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a motherboard in this house, house with IDE. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be very involved. I would have to make a video about my adventure of trying to make Giver some shit together to do the video. You could probably find an adapter that turns uh, PATA into USB and you just route it through the outside of the case and plug hey, it in. <laughs> that's cheating. Um, <laughs> yeah, I end up with like some e SATA monstrosity to like ultra wide yeah. SCSI 2. And I'm like, yeah, we got this. Now let's try to burn a disc. But yeah, that's the thing. I needed to burn a DVD for someone uh, a while back. And I'm kind of glad I brought this. <laughs> Samsung external uh, oh. DVD writer. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and reader. 
It just takes, yeah, just micro USB. Gets enough power from just the one port. Done. <laughs> I'll be or done with that. Mini USB. That's in the drawer of the tools. <laughs> because that's what it is. I give away stuff like that. I know I've had... Like, there's probably USB 2. I don't know. It might have been a CD. It wasn't a DVD burner. But I know I had like an external one for somebody to give me for a laptop. I'm like, don't need here, take. You get gifts if you make it to my house. <laughs> Oh man, we've covered a lot in your absence. We've really grown as individuals, I feel. That's a shame. I want you guys to stay the same, just be static characters, no development whatsoever. Oh, we can do that too. Oh yes, yeah. I forget, we are uh, figments of Jordan's imagination. <laughs> Although, uh, the fuck you imagine me, I don't fucking know. There you I go. Think, would it, would, so, would it so, be... Uh, so I, I, I thought about that. This is like some sick manifestation of my own self-loathing. Mm. That you just manifest. As. Would you be? <laughs> would you be relieved or happy if you woke up tomorrow and you're like you're 18? So here's the thing: when you learn <laughs> things in a dream, it usually means that they're bullshit. Uh huh. Yes. So <laughs> odds are, you everything just I know about Linux is a lie. Yeah, Linux is never. Yeah. It, it died no, at uni it finished university and never got any traction. Yeah. Oh, not, no, yeah, not, not, not even, not even that. It's just like everything I've learned so far, like from building it from the ground up and shit. Uh huh. It's not, not applicable. It's just made up dream nonsense. Yep. And you're just like, 18 years old. Like yeah, I said, relieved fucked. or pissed off. <sighs> Ultimately, I think probably. Take two or redo. Re I think that, that, I'd try and see if anything that I could remember from the dream was actual. So, fact. so I, I so <laughs> hey, I, I here's think... the biggest problem: none of us fucking play the lottery. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no. So, so like it, 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 it depends, right? I think I try to establish if, if this is one of those like knowing the future traps you in this future. Like once, once you know what's going to happen, everything you do, regardless of your intention, will result in it. Or if it's actually just fluid, or was that all just a bullshit dream and not, none of it actually applies or matters? Or what if in it, any what if it or, only affected sense? you? I get like some random fucking email from this eighteen-year-old kid in secondary school. He's like, dude, you're not going to believe any of this, but. <laughs> ben? <laughs> you dreamt that too? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Like, um, Ven Ven exists, but, he, but in, instead of being like a fucking I'm a priest. Se seven foot eight German man, he is like, a f he is fucking like a, like a Latino, like, child. Priest. Child priest. It's a new series on ABC <laughs> Family Hour. Ch 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 child priest? Yeah. Co I, co coming I, I, brought to I, you by Disney? I'm bringing justice back to church, baby. Setting things right. Oh, man. He's a child. They call him CP. He's a priest. <laughs> they call him the child priest. Morgan Freeman, eat a cough drop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that 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 is that is that is, super, that that is a supremely that. uncreative bit is like <laughs> that, 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 that was good I like I like that that is like that is that is that is a focus group solution I'm glad that you can produce focus group solutions Pedro yes <laughs> two brothers in a van and then a meteor hit he knew too all much. right kids we're gonna light up the Discord audio hop in if you want in. Oh wow! You you usually have Discord uh, by the time I get back. That's waiting on you, sweetheart. Oh damn! I should have waited longer. Agreed. <laughs> lit, lit, lit. Yep. <laughs> there they hey, is. Hey. There it is. How do you do, Lee? Hey, Hello, Boom. everyone. What's Hello. up? <laughs> Yay! So I had it. an awesome interview with Big Daddy Linux. It was it's good awesome. to see you too, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it you was you! Because the way you said it, it sounded like it was yeah, Steve. It was, it was, yeah, yeah I, I thought no. Steve got interviewed. You know, 
Yeah, yeah we're just going by what you typed out in English. Yeah. In the chat. I know. Yep. <laughs> but it was awesome. I got to talk about all wonderful things about you guys and Jordan, Pedro, and Ben, and uh, what an awesome community we have. And uh, what an awesome Someone community. Has turned on the radio. Someone has Ranger. feedback. There we go. So, so let's go back to that the child priest thing. <laughs> If it, was about, <laughs> if it was about if it was about weddings, would it be Doogie Spouser? Maybe. Oh no. I, 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 I think someone would make that joke, but um, I don't. I don't think it would be called that. Mm. Silence. I'm researching. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm just Spouser. looking at what Ben's <laughs> typing and I saw the uh, so far the um, Brazilian meme there. <laughs> that uh, thank you Spruce. very much, uh, Brazilian people I follow on Twitter for keep, keeping me up to date on the Brazilian memes. <laughs> Find me a church to go to. Run by a child. Hill Santa. In Brazil. <laughs> Why not? Yeah! He was born in Brazil. <laughs> child, child Priest kills a man by like the fourth episode. In Cold Blood too. <laughs> it, it's like brutally shot as well. It's gonna be... It's gonna be fire. Yeah, that needs to but, be a show now. <laughs> but, but you're the one but, in the US. You need By to. the end of season two, Child Priest has toppled the Brazilian government and has implemented a religious theocracy based on Catholicism with him as, like, fucking Pope leader. And then a meteor hit. And then we, we, we get the straight-up Child Priest versus Satan fight. I think that's what we're going to close out on. Oh man, did you watch the uh, last episode of Preacher? Speaking of, uh, no, I need no. to. Uh, I need to get catch up on that. Oh well, for once I am ahead. Ha ha ha. Yes. <laughs> Although it ended the way the I expected it to end because it's out the book, but whatever. Um, <laughs> it was it was it was all right. It was an ending. It better be an ending, because that, that 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 was the end. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It, 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 it is definitely the end. No, like... Maybe there's other shit. No. So... <laughs> so no ifs or buts or maybe's, it's just end. Yeah. The end. Good. I like those endings. Mm -hmm. This is the end. I Admittedly, like I had those doubts with uh, the third season of The Expanse, because it's like... Oh, that could very well be an ending right there. Miming. Miming. Oh, hang on. There you go. Ben did a thing. I'm, I'm doing things. All right. Well, Pedro okay. shut up. So. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad the Expanse got season four and season five now. Uh, they started shooting mm, season five. Cool. Um. Season five's where well, it gets interesting. Gets if if they're gonna do what I think they're gonna do, um, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to book nine because that's, that's the finish, that's the last book. Give me some words, Pedro. At the expense season four to see when the heck that's coming out. Uh, uh let's see. Um, December, then of November. Geek. The expand season four is headed. How about date? Date? No, no date. Date, date, date. No. Well, the, uh, December thirteenth. Air date. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should have just googled for that. <laughs> yeah. See, expand season four release date. Google does that thing where it's like, this is the answer to the question you were asking, even though you just put a bunch of words in. I just the put in Expanse yeah. Season 4, and it went, yeah, here's things about the Expanse Season 4. It's like, okay, air date. All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah, tell Google what you want, and it will give it to you. 
You go ask them, and we shall receive. Are they going to do the Amazon thing of releasing one episode at a time? Well, generally that's what happens with a TV show, so... <laughs> yeah, but I haven't watched TV You're an in fuck. a long, that's long time. <laughs> You're just an impatient fuck, that's all. Also, yes. <laughs> but then again, you've been watching this show long enough to know that, Foxy. True, very true. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be one of those your, like it's just the combination of all the spellings of your. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your. <laughs> Where's your cat now? That... Yeah. <laughs> I think that should actually be a word, just to fuck with people. It's like, no, this is just the word. You can understand it in context. Whatever. You're... There. That's good, Pedro. Or bad. No, the Y is there. before the I. <laughs> it's such a Christian I. spelling. <laughs> it's the Tory like this. spelling. Is that the Hindu spelling? <laughs> no, nope. getting closer. Wait. The Yure. <laughs> the Yure. The Yure. The Yure. But that, no, but that's that's a different word though, right? Like that's the Yure. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that is. Maybe uh, maybe some Portuguese nonsense. There. <laughs> there. Yure. You're right there, Foxy. <laughs> Can't tell where I'm at. It's everyone's favorite game, Stroke or Australian. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we've all we've all played that game a time or two, right? Let's be real. Let's be real, fam. See, it's spring in Australia. <laughs> the <laughs> the sun is shining, the, air. the birds are it's tweeting, weird. the spiders are coming out of the trees to try and capture the birds and murder them. Springtime uh, in Australia, yep. it really sound like you said, um, Poland's in the air, and I'm like, keep going. Uh, so springtime, springtime for Hitler, Hitler. Or in Italy. Germany. No. It Germany, Germany, no. Germany. No. no, 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 there was a parody uh, on it. Oh man, you gotta watch out for Italian Hitler, he's gonna sneak up on you with like right? a pizza. <laughs> no, there was, there was actually the a parody cannolis. where they went through all the and different And some cannolis, countries. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a few fazolis for my troubles. It's okay, Joel. I get shit wrong, too. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone does. It, it, it goes around and comes it. around. Oh, my God. Then, <laughs> <laughs> okay. would you... Fuck no. Pennywise. Barless. Yeah. I did it. I pressed the button. Yeah. Steam overlay like, kind of borked. And, uh. Bork? Come on, Epic. Bork, 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 bork. Beta thing. <laughs> Are you the Ven with the pancakes, Foxy? What? No. Not with me. Ven oh, doesn't eat pancakes. Right. <laughs> That's cool, Scott. Very good, Scott. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> okay, I'll have a look at the string. Scott, what, 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 what kind of syrup is topping those pancakes? <laughs> Do tell. Mm, maple. Sex syrup. What kind of Canadian syrup. syrup. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I've got that. i got to get a refill before we get into this, so everyone can invite whoever they want. Do it. Uh, so you, you don't have to Can beg to me. Anyway. You have to beg to uh, Pedro, and that's even worse. Uh, <laughs> on, Epi, hurry up. There you Let's see if I can find Pennywise. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> to answer the question, I actually kind of like normal, like right, real maple syrup, like from a tree. But um, oh, wrong I also sometimes like Aunt Jemima's kind of crappy brown sugary kind of. I like hate this. it. It's the worst. Like once you've had it. maple syrup, maple syrup is just like so complex and rich. It's great, and you just fucking turn your pancakes into this sponge of syrup, and then you consume mm -hmm. them. For me, I can, I can, and then you die of diabetes. 
I mean, for, for me, it's you, you, you gotta enjoy life, corn right? Corn <laughs> but have you ever actually had maple toffee on snow? I have. Yes. Oh, okay. Because I grew up oh. in Ontario, where that's well, we have room for one more. So if anyone wants, sound off. <laughs> All right, I'll bring Mr. What's his Rohit. Okay. okay. I can't get rid of it. There you go. Okay, you got rid of it. Wub, All right. wub, wub. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, Jordan, your turn to entertain because right. I need to pee. <laughs> okay. Heresy! All right. Any, 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 any requests from the audience? The pee dance. What are you going to be playing on Thursday, Jordan? Just I have no have fucking clue. Room? Because Sandy's well, gone, so I gotta figure that out. Five before. If, if you need someone to uh, bounce audio off of, just let me know. I should be okay. around. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mir, you can. You you you, you can uh, you can come along on Thursday. That's fine. Sure. <laughs> Mir doing audio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just funny. I mean, oh, fucking talking about games I'm looking forward to. Planet Badass, whenever the fuck that comes out. Oh, yeah. Looks oh, I, awesome. I, I, will, I, will, I will play the fuck out of some of that. That will be, <laughs> that'll be really nice. I'm, I'm, I'm scared for fucking million, literal millions of enemies. <laughs> like, oh, man, I hope that minigun does not run out of ammo very quickly, because otherwise it's going to be a problem. It's a highlighter hitting a coffee cup. <laughs> hey, drummer. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Hey. <laughs> Taking a break from. Uh, All right, there, Joe. Work. <laughs> Sound a bit off. <laughs> I'm just exhausted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll I get guess. a little loopy when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 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 what happened to Pedro? Pe Did he get loose? Oh, he went to thank poop. You, so. Foxy. Hot. Seems legit. I think he's took Pedro. Yeah. Probably body temperature, actually. Body temperature? What are you talking about, Scott? Pedro's body temperature? I don't know. Well, well, while you were in the washroom, Pedro, did you did you stick a thermometer up your butt? Scott wants to know what your body temperature is. Not a thermometer. <laughs> it all. I mean, I just got back. I too could sweet be hard, partial so. to shoving things up my butt. It's just like, what's the context here? Uh, no, body like, temperature. Wait, wait, wait. What's what's your body temperature? What context? Thing up but now. Like Jordan the, wants <laughs> to find your body temperature. Thirty six, thirty seven Celsius ish. <laughs> so do, do he's they not make, dead, like, Jordan. A, um, you won't like it. Like a device to like easily cut out like Listerine strips <laughs> like roughly the size, same size and shape as contact lenses. I got an idea. You 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 want to Listerine? Like, make oh, the mouthwash like, thing is. Yeah, yeah like, you, okay. you want to make like LSD <laughs> yeah. eye, 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 eye contact lens things or whatever. Well, I want to be able to cut them out so they're roughly the, yeah, they're like pads. roughly the same. God damn it. Um, Roughly the same shape as a contact lens, so I could swap them out with regular contact lenses. Like a surprise oh, for someone. Oh, dear God, don't do that. <laughs> I've put one of those yes. in my eye before. No, no, do not do. Mir, if do you put a Listerine strip in your eye, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> right, like, follow-up follow question, there. how? <laughs> was was this before died. or after you stabbed yourself with a Cheeto? I mean... <laughs> was in high school it was a dare <laughs> that's how you all the story when i gashed myself with a butter knife hey let's play some rocket cars uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> welcome back to linux self-harm cast <laughs> right? we discuss all the ways <laughs> that we are terrible to our bodies it was actually tos seriously tos stop no keep going <laughs> me? tos I don't know. Yeah. It's just a terms of service. Yeah, so I was... The Twitch terms of service, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I was, uh... oh, oh. 
I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it was a uh, that was a Wasson. joke, Scott. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, LGC cares. Hey man, I said shut up with love. Yes. <laughs> no one be mean to Scott. Nibbe. No. I was in the rocket. All's fair in loving rocket cars. Nothing's fair <laughs> yeah. in all in, in loving rocket cars. <laughs> the spikes are fair. No, Spike, they're not. The spikes, they're are spikes, are... spikes are bullshit, man. Sp that's why it's hot, spiky bullshit. Hot, spiky bullshit. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. Nutritious. Ooh, I got... Put it in your mouth. And... Alright, Scott. Don't, don't take anything I may or may uh. not have said to you out on our team. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, do. <laughs> Aww. Fuck, what are I gonna be cooling? You and me both, pal. You and me both. <laughs> but everyone on my team is better than me, so they should stay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, goddamn it, Rohit. Oof. They can do their stuff. I love this level. It's so pretty. No, it's big, it. too. <laughs> it's pink yeah. and yellow. Yeah, it's pretty and, you know, apocalyptic. There was yeah. that moment there where I'm like, oh, like crap, is it going reset? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> don't 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 give him ideas, man. Why why would you why would you say that out Hard loud? Way. What is wrong Woo. with you, Scott? Sweet. Loving her hey, right way. I don't care. Still got bored. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> How's it going, sweetheart? Oh man, it's great over here, man. It's great. It's a bit warm. <laughs> Oops. This is touch toasty, yes. Off him. Mm -hmm. Get off that. Ah, wow, that was terrible. Right, oh, hit with a save. <laughs> Boop. 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 Jump higher. <laughs> thank, thank you, Pedro. <laughs> Helpful advice. Come on, put it in. Fuck off. Oh, shite. Ah. Dang it. <laughs> well, I tried to hit the ball, but yeah, that got, yep. got robbed. That's cool. Yeah, at, so, at some point in time, you're just chasing it. You're, you're not, no. you know, moving it along. Fuck that. Boom. Dick. Oh. Oof. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> that man, the game even had sympathy, man. It gave me ten points. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, empty. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> boop it. Nice. Oops. Good boops. Do not boop this way. <laughs> boop this way. <laughs> come on. Ooh, no. Yes. <laughs> Cheers, bitches. That's been wild since I've that, Budgie. Oh, that bird is cute, Mir. Mm -hmm. Doink. Doink the clown. Nope. Louie. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ah, uh, we were going the right way, lads. Oh, oh someone please get that. Oh, Scott, not like that. <laughs> yes, like that. Yes. Uh, oh, not oh, like that. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> that should have been an epic save, by the way. But you keep hitting me. <laughs> I know. You it keeps it. you away. Which is fine. It... Which is fine. Your enemy. It's fine. Keeps you away That's from the ball, goal, man. But it's just like I can't. <laughs> God, it can't always be <laughs> tooth and nails. They're opponents, not enemies. Fuck off, MD. Oh, come on. Oh, that would that would have been great. Yes. I got a shot up. I got a shot for that too. <laughs> yeah, it so did just I. lazily rolled in, and it would have been amazing. Fuck. 
Let's go. Oh, God damn it again. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> That's a pretty good hit there. Come on, Scott. There we go. Yes! There we go. <laughs> That's fun. I tried to get in front of it. Off the backboard. <laughs> Patrick, that's how I'd like to play <laughs> play Rocket League. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I bet Steve <laughs> could play make it oh, the best. Yes, I did that. <laughs> Get cocky, kid. Mm. Okay, no, okay. Hold this thing and go. Oh, scheiße. Okay, nope. we'll be fine again. That's it. We'll hit. Nope. <laughs> <Yolo. Nope. laughs> Foxy, bring it around. Nope. No. Nah. Nope. Rohit, quit running from it. <laughs> <laughs> it's chasing him. Pedro, I will stab you in the dick. I know where you live. <laughs> we all know where Pedro lives. Come on. <laughs> oh, swing and a miss. All right. Oh, come on. Oh, he's dick. Boop. Very good, Jordan. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that's that's a tie. Tie. Five, 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 five. Anybody's game. I thought I was coming to the. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, It's tied. It's anybody's game. Very good indeed. It, it that's like five seconds, man. We got this. We got yeah. this. It was. Someone hit it in. <laughs> Come on. It can happen. It Dream is real. There no. we go. No, it's not. All right. I'm Pedro, you get in goal. I'm, I'm not. Kidding. Let me run around aimlessly <laughs> okay. in the middle of the field and not hit the ball. I mean, you're a better, you're a better goalie than I am, so fuck. Put it in. Tippy taps. Tippy taps. Hey, you bastard. Okay. <laughs> Everyone go. Uh, go, go. Oh. Oh. All right, lads. <laughs> get it fucked right off. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Rohit. Uh, no. I you went right for... under it. <laughs> yeah. I, w I was originally going for a boost, and then it came in front of me, and I'm like, shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> very good. Oh, oh, very good. Oh. <laughs> Kudos, Jordan. Kudos. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oof. Oof. Dunk. Good, good effort, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> Proper dunk. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, that was a good one. Mm -hmm. Bunch of damn hackers. <laughs> that was um, <laughs> kind of even. Very good. Pretty yeah. even. Yeah. <laughs> you know that that that's the best kind of Rocket League, right? Where you just don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay, fun. empty. Side runs away with it. <laughs> <laughs> or you're playing drop shot. All right, we're gonna oh, rotate yeah. in and out. Mr. Alert's angry. He, he there's an entire game he didn't get to play. <laughs> angry. <Yes. laughs> Maybe he should take a nap. <laughs> you can rotate in and out with Pennywise or Rohit. You guys figure that out. Uh, Bro hits dropped out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, three on three. <laughs> Let's see, Mister Alert. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, snizzle snams. So when was the last episode of Preacher? Was that last week? That's uh, this week. Yeah, it was Oh, this Monday. week's is already out. It just, it, yeah, it just came out. Oh, all right. I don't ever, I don't watch it until Sunday afternoon, so. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's my reward. <laughs> huh. Just eating utensils? Yeah, eating utensils are my reward. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually Forks what I watch shows spoons while I'm eating. And knives. <laughs> That Rock League uh, cosplay uh, image is pretty funny. Yeah. On the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could just hand somebody a Hot Wheels and napalm them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I was hoping for big wheels. Spray paint boom on the corpse. All right, all right, all right. I, I, I'm working. I'm working here. <laughs> I'm working here. I'm walking. Yeah, I'm here. walking here. I'm walking over here. <laughs> working, working. I'm walking here. <laughs> You're Christopher walking there. <laughs> no, no, I'm he's alive. Morgan Freeman. Ranger. No, that's I am walking here. <laughs> Shut up, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no one cares about your celebrity impressions. I can smell you. <laughs> All right, Team I'll LGC versus nice. the rest. <laughs> <All right>. Shit. <laughs> oh, that's just fun with this fuckers. Well, yeah. <laughs> Eat shit and die, then. Eat shit and Low die. grav. Low grav. Boops. <laughs> 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 Oh god. <laughs> With rumble. <laughs> send send rumble. help or that. nudes. <laughs> Healthy nudes. Or help nudes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Team Healthy Nudes is highly disappointed in these shenanigans. <laughs> I mean, you should always have healthy nudes. Ooh, wait. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's good. Lo All right, that was Love good then. Love Shack, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Health shack. La la la. Shack. Ah, no boost. Can't catch. Fight. Die try. Oh. <laughs> Have no boost or die trying. All right. Like All right fine. I'll just slide down the wall and shame. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Ah. <laughs> Motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, God, oh, what? Go, what? Oh, nope, no. take him down! <laughs> yes! This way! Haha! -ha. Yeah, yeah that, 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 that purple one's tricky. I don't like it. <laughs> Put it in! Put it in! Oh, come, come on, on, Scott! No, damn it! <laughs> that was the wrong time to press that! Poof! <laughs> Oh, fuck. No. I even froze it. it was, I was out of boost. I could be there in time. <laughs> it's like, just wait for you to hit it. <laughs> it was either that or just let it go totally in, man. To set you up on <laughs> I was saying there was a chance. It's it's possible. Possibility. <laughs> It's no. God yeah. damn it. My hand is just showing off. <laughs> nope, we're just dealing with some RN because <laughs> fuck me this way. <laughs> that was amazing, Pennywise. <laughs> I was a little late on jump. to do that. <laughs> Don't worry, kids. If you're watching this, this is how you play Rocket League when you're old. So deal with it. <laughs> this is also incidentally how you make a baby, Niall, so. yes. right? Oh, thank you, M Shadows sixty one. <laughs> what we get? A follow. Ah. Pedro, why aren't hey. you on that? <laughs> we oh, got it. Go away, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> What happened there? I had it on spikes. And then it was punch, okay. Then empty grabbed it. Empty and Jordan, yeah, okay. Well, well I, I, I tried to rescue it, but that wasn't enough, apparently. <sighs> well, you know, if three of you have given up, I'll give up too. 
I'm just, <laughs> who, said, who said she'd have ever given up? Uh, action. This is, this is, pun this is punishment. <laughs> the wrong way, Andy. <laughs> Fuck someone up. <laughs> Go then. I think uh, Mr. Alert's out of boosts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm white. I don't know. Physics weird. And I was just. Fuck physics! Fuck God it. damn oh. it! <laughs> <laughs> no such luck there, my dude. Oh, I was in the goal. It should have come to me. <laughs> come, 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 come to Vinette. <laughs> Go to Vin. Oh. Go to Vin. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. Shouldn't use go tos. Well, there, there, there are specific occasions to use go tos. <laughs> what Is the? Come on. <laughs> This is, this is just being silly. Being silly. <laughs> I bet so it is. Bitches, I got 100% boost. I'm taking this down. Oh! Nope. Someone had a freaking sucker. <laughs> Ain't that a sucker? Couldn't even get a pity fuck. Put it in. There we go. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Alert. Very good. Yes. Wow. Look at the score disparity on our teams. <laughs> Damn. Alan. And you we, guys we, we're, <laughs> we're fucking up and we're still doing okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's fine. I wanted to be yeah. on the ceiling. Fuck off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jordan. It's <laughs> alright. Yeah. <laughs> Punish. God damn it, I missed. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> We're dead. Oh, come on. Wow. There was no one there. <laughs> Alright, never mind. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Get off me, Jordan. No. <laughs> Whoa. Why won't you love me, Foxy? Puxy. Do <laughs> uh, I have to answer? Oh. Yes! <laughs> yes, bitch, you do. It's the body hair. <laughs> Not enough. Fool me, fool me. Jeez. Uh, I didn't hit the floor in time. You torturous you game. Cool. <laughs> I've been puck cucked like three times. <laughs> puck cucky. Oh. Puck cucky. through the wall a few times too. <laughs> no, he's gonna touch the floor. Uh, <laughs> this. We've pucked up, man. Oh, Our pucks ran out. We pucked up good. Oh, nice, Ben. That was a good hit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Be Jordan. Bro. All the mess. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm just glad I hit the ball a couple times in that round, or puck, or whatever. <laughs> the ball puck. The, the thing. ball puck. <laughs> the, the object the cylinder. Thing. The thing. Adversary. The adversary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the scoochy thing that you boop into the goal. Yes. <laughs> no, it's but well, clearly I didn't do that. It's the thing you <laughs> avoid and try to hit occasionally. Yeah. No. Oh man, that gra that gravity really fucked me up. I had no idea how to control anything in that. Oh man. So let's see. Man, we never did get to play beach ball volley. No, because we couldn't figure no. out how to make We're it work. Too dumb to make it work. Yeah. I know. That was sad. Not a proudest moment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. And there's video evidence, so we can't fucking deny it. <laughs> Moral of the story. Don't be an idiot. And whenever we call something out wrong, someone is more than happy to point that out, Rohit. <laughs> hey now, Eisen and I do it too. 
<laughs> you sure do, Scott. You sure do. Hey, man. Did Scott ever tell you about the time? Ooh. You were supposed to complete that with something, Scott. No, he wasn't. He's lording. <laughs> <laughs> Scott sauce. Quit giving him a hard time. Oh, we love our scoots. Let's uh, start exaggerating now. <laughs> oh, if I saw him in real life, Strong I'd give him a light. hug. So would I. A big, tight yeah. hug right around the rape cage. Just gonna... you, you Brotherly and Scott, squeeze. Uh, you and Scott could definitely have a hair off. <laughs> curls no, versus curls. Actually a lot shorter than it needs to be. <laughs> Squeeze him and hug him and name him George. <laughs> well, his name's Scott. I need to name him George. <laughs> North Ranger, that was good. I haven't heard that forever. That was pretty good. <laughs> we clearly watch different types of porn. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Not sure how to think of that if it's the, probably the wouldn't apply any thought to that whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, well, it, was just, it was just after you talking about me, so <laughs> yes, and oh, yes, it was. Donk, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> donk. What for? Oh, yay! Yeah, my favorite. Oh, here we go. <laughs> to get dunked on. Oh, we're playing with basketball puck. with a puck oh, <laughs> and spikes <Yay>. and <laughs> low bounciness. Hey man, I threw spikes in there to give everyone full full <laughs> tilt. So, <laughs> bonk. <laughs> but that sounded weird. Yeah, it all sounds weird. 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 I get weird. <laughs> Go Pennywise! No! no. <laughs> Go! This way! Ah. One of these days, someone's gonna give One day, some man. LSD, One day. and this is gonna be this is gonna be a trip for everyone involved. They're gonna be sober as hell. Man, every, everybody, everybody needs that. It. Just drop it! Just drop! Oh. No! I'm too busy driving. <laughs> Wrong. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> Dunk! Do not skyhook. Put it in. Skyhook. Let me have something to do with that. No. 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 God, God damn it. That's a bad Scott. I think that deserves a spanking, Scott. Oh, that was good. I good. saved it. Fucking Scott. <laughs> Fucking Scott. I think the Scott. thing earlier was great earlier. <laughs> I think it was M Fox Dog that actually boosted. <laughs> Oh, oh yes! Oh, oh boo! Oh, no. oh, going the wrong way! Boo. Yeah! It's all part of the strat. Damn it! That, go, Pennywise! Go, go, go! No. Yeah! Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pennywise so is awesome. What do you think the score is gonna be? Five, five. <laughs> Depends on how many people I kick. Yeah, it looks like the, the spikes are actually <laughs> helping then. <laughs> That's why they're for faults. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> go, go, Scoots, go. We got a priority spike. Go, Jordan. Go, go, go. Just drop. Just drop. Jordan, just drop. Just Jordan drop. get a point. Oh, Come man. on, people. <laughs> <laughs> That's uncalled for. We, we can't have that behavior. Come on, put it in. Put it in. There we go. No, no. Out of boost. I was like, break, break, up, break, break. That was so close, though. I, I, I'd, I'd run out of boost, and I'm just like trying desperately to weigh myself forward. <laughs> Apparently, the leverage was not in my favor. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope, 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 nope. Whoa. No boost. It's best oh. boost. 
I'm covered in spikes, bitches. Bring it. Uh -uh. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> Defense! Oh, Defense! There you go! Defense! <laughs> Very good, Pennywise. Very good. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> yes. Come on. Ah. Ah. Boo. Is, uh, can't you let it drop for once? Boo. Everybody else gets a <laughs> pee. Go. Let her. No. Why yes. 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 Very good. Is that, is that Alice? Is that Mr. Lurk that snapped it? That was Drew. No. That was me. Oh. oh, cool, Jordan. I kissed it and it just yeah. rim shot. Uh. Oh, awesome. That was a tsunami. That was very lucky. Like yes, right behind them. So gentle, Jordan. That bullshit. Shot. That was amazing, Jordan. <laughs> it was amazing. I'm glad I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> you participated. Oh, Doing better than me. I, I'm like flailing around upside down. Oh, damn it. Yeah, if I can have it. Put us back. Avenge us. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thanks for the Scott, uh, you, 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 there, uh, whoever hit me in the back. Scott, you might Pretty be right about this one. Oh, oh line, and Mr. Here. Alan. And Mr. Alert got the double boop. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Alan. <laughs> Love spikes, ya. Spikes right at the rear. Damn Defense! Oh, that was tied off. up again. We gotta start playing instead of dicking around. Defense! <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh. Ah, no Scott, no yeah. Scott. Ah. <laughs> oh, ah. That drop, drop. Ah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's very hard. That, that's daunting because you can't see shit when that's like when the, when you have the puck like that. I'm just like I have no yep. idea where I'm going. Yeah, I was Where am I going? That's why it's so easy to miss with that. You just like. You guessed, and then you guessed wrong. Yes, yes. Very good, Mr. Alert. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm blocking this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, come on. We just gotta, we just gotta keep it from them. That's all we gotta do. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> Defense! Ah! Defense! Thanks, Alan. <laughs> oh, no, no, no! Fuck off! Ah! 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 No! It was attached to my butt, and then it wasn't! Good. <laughs> this is progress. Don't you hate it when it attaches to your butt? I really ah. do! It's Come quite on. unpleasant. Yes, Vin, come on. All right. <laughs> go, Mr. Alert, go. Let it go, oh. Alan. <laughs> Don't Damn do it, it. MD. You <laughs> killed me. Go, Scott. Go, 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 go. Go, Scooty. Drop, drop, drop. Oh. We do yes. not get any <laughs> None. Give no ground. No, no quarter. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Avengers! Avengers! Oh, did I get it? Have a second. All right, we can off the buzzer. Could work. Defense. Yay, Foxy! Oh, geez, that was sheer luck. I had no idea what was going on. Nope, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I scored poorly. <laughs> Hi, I scored poorly as well. Good, good show. Good show. Uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't beat Scott, but I beat Empty. Man. That was a bit of shit. <laughs> Defense! Yay! <laughs> I saved like two goals and that didn't count apparently. So. Man, we didn't even get a participation trophy for that one. Good. Like, nah. <laughs> Fucking hate participation trophies. It's like the ultimate patronizing <laughs> gift. <It's> like, <laughs> well, giving try. them out to kids, man. Kids keep score even if you don't. Yep. Right? Those kids know who won. <laughs> Oh man, so I guess we got drum shot. Man, yeah. I, I don't believe flamingos really exist. Oh, I love them. Are they like delicious? Do you, do you think or? they're, they're you just they're think they're plastic and they, li uh, they live in people's <laughs> gardens? <laughs> no, they're they're uh, so neat in real life to see a. a... You know, a flock of them. It's, it's really amazing. And they're a protected species. And there was a hunter yeah. in Portugal that got massively fined because uh, one of his dogs just started chasing a flamingo. Well, they're so <laughs> delicious, right? Dude. Because they eat all that scrimp that turns them pink. So they just taste <laughs> yeah. like scrimp. And oh, man. <laughs> Did, could we get, like, skewers big enough? <laughs> Some flamingo skewers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't know. Apparently we can't do it in Portugal without some <laughs> severe fines. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, they got a massive fine. like, yeah, the dog caught it, killed it, and I, I'm molded. I'm going to be real with you. I don't <laughs> think they were protected species in Florida. I think they were effective, like, ruse. Or Canadian <laughs> geese. Can you just, like, nope Canadian geese all day long? No, you, you can't. They're protected. Wow, those things are like rats, dude. I know. Angry, they big, suck. Angry. They're angry. Yeah. They, they don't fuck around, and they shit everywhere. Just... <laughs> Coat the sidewalks in goo shit. It's disgusting. <laughs> oh. uh, and like you can slip in it too. Um, Ew. And you know, th th there's a very effective solution because geese don't like tall grass. So if they just stopped like mowing the public areas and just let them grow up, that would solve the goose problem. But then the snakes. I love <laughs> snakes. They're great. Good thing we got rid of oh, <laughs> snakes. They snakes roaches. Those are great. <laughs> no, dude. There's only one poison snake in Canada, and it's a water snake. Yeah, dude. Snake snakes love me because I'm so warm. I generate a lot of body heat, and <laughs> they just like hang out on snakes. me. Canada is too cold for snakes, isn't it? Man, I know. That's why I've had to transport we'll, snakes we'll in my shirt. We'll import some snakes from Ireland. Speaking of which, there was a uh, guy in BC apparently just recently. I found a piranha. He caught a piranha. Like what? Oh, he, I thought it was like out foraging in what? his garden. Like, <laughs> piranha. Oh, Long piranhas. Piranhas, piranhas that far up north? Yeah, apparently uh, so. they're assuming, um, of course, it has to be something like this, uh, that someone had it as a pet somehow, snuck it across the border, and then got rid of it. It was out frolicking in a field. Yeah. <laughs> and then Frolic it, uh, piranhas. La, 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 la. Singing Hey Nani Nani. The devil wears piranha. <laughs> the devil is a piranha. Yeah. <laughs> and the piranha. La piranha. <laughs> El la wait la's feminine though right no that's yes Ito. yes because piranha is a feminine name despite a fish or peish being a port um Listen, male man, I don't, as, as, as nope. it turns out gendered nouns are stupid and modern yes, like, yes they are nobody <laughs> here listens to pish it's a hippie band dude come on because you run like a panel of out of control. <laughs> yes. fish, that's it. Like discount Pesci. <laughs> no, you want to pay full, full price for Joe Pesci, man. You want the full experience. <laughs> you don't. You don't. You don't want the half price. You'll be disappointed. You want. You want a hundred percent Pesci, hundred percent of the time. I had a pet gardener snake. I liked it. <laughs> What, what what did you name him, Jill? Or snakes. her? I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know the sexually dimorphic traits of snakes. So, oh, everyone wants a kitty shark, <laughs> a tickle shark. <laughs> Actually, um, his name was Worm. 
<laughs> and did you have a worm named Snakes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm just saying, uh, Jill going fishing, weird experience, man. <laughs> Why are you using a snake as bait? No, this is worm. <laughs> worm. <laughs> Oh, but I had him for almost five years. <laughs> oh man, then he ended up as worm sticks. Mm. Then he became I worm food. This week. <laughs> lips, but... Yeah, I, I've never had like the desire to encase an animal of any type inside my house. I'm like, now nah, I'm good. I got a plant. Aww. I like animals. I thought you were gonna keep me, Ben. I like dogs and cats <laughs> and animals in general. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say chained up outdoors, sweetheart. Yeah. Hey, I'm down That's for what whatever. I'm... Right. <laughs> I don't know, Ben. What about the sub basement or the Twitch subs? That's where they that, go, right? That, that's still kind of too much indoors. Too much of the indoor part. Might get the wrong idea. The smell, right? That can Skype. I have a clothesline. They can run back and forth on that. <laughs> Get some exercise. Yeah. Okay, so the, uh, yeah. What? Not bad. Not bad, but that's a good ceiling mount, yeah. is all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like fun, actually. <laughs> <laughs> The successful ones are. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I saw one. It was like, uh, what was it? Uh, hold my juice box on Reddit. And it, <laughs> it was a toddler, dude. It had like a side shot. Just wham down the stairs. Just face plant. <laughs> then slowly after that, a mattress comes. Slide. <laughs> oh. It, it was hold legit insult box. injury. Because I didn't expect that when I clicked on it. I was like, ah, what the fuck, dude? That's like snub porn. Then here comes <laughs> <laughs> uh, It's good. Good times. And of course, it's a kid. Because when you're a kid, you just get up from a face plant downstairs. You're like, eh. Yep. Try it again. All right. Yeah, I'll <laughs> right. I think it was, what, 18 when I, uh, when I uh, stopped being able to get back up after a uh, fall? Yeah, you're just kind of like, I'm just going to lay here for a minute. Well, I mean, that's what yeah. happens when you routinely throw yourself downstairs, Scott. <laughs> With a mattress chaser. I guess Justin Trudeau about that. Yeah, apparently. Just tired of getting up. Stay down, down man. Down <laughs> no, I need to climb the stairwell. <laughs> man. <laughs> but you keep falling down. You keep throwing yourself down. I don't know where it's a physics experiment. <laughs> and I am physics. Okay, just slow There's boost recharge. So this is... Hmm. <laughs> it's going to be a ground drop box, right on. <laughs> drop box. Yes. Drop shot. We're, 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 we're going to... Uh, we're going to store some files on the internet. Okay, challenge. Within the first <laughs> minute, try to make sure you're knocking the ball on the correct side. This is a personal challenge. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Damn it. There's a hole. Teeny tiny hole, but there's a hole. <laughs> Stay away from my hole, Pedro. <laughs> no, that hole goes right there. <laughs> Listen. People, stop running into me. So I can move by the fucking feet. Thank you. Jeez. No, 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 no. <laughs> bad touch. Mr. Bad touch. Paging Mr. Oof. Bad touch. <laughs> Dr. Bad touch. Bad touch to the operating room. Bad touch. Ah! Touch it. Yeah. 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 smoke. <laughs> Paging Dr. Bad touch. Your car has been towed. I was going for it in TMT. I was like, oh, well. Ah, uh, didn't. Out. Yep. That was on me. Dr. Bad Touch! <laughs> 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 
beans on the top like that. What the fuck was that old man? <laughs> <laughs> Will we attack this? Oh no. By driving far away. Come on back into shit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of shit. There. Yeah. Did a thing. Did a thing. Didn't get points. <laughs> Uh, that, that, that was not good. That's a no no. Hey. Hey. No. Why, why did yes. it change color? You gotta stay, you gotta, you gotta stay pink, ball. You gotta stay in the pink. Get the pink thing in the pink hole. No pink thing in yellow hole. My bad. <laughs> He's, don't don't worry, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Happy thoughts. Damn it! No. Oh come on! I should have that. Her. Everyone at home saw what my broke ass. Could... Come on! Yes. Oh, yes. 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 oh no! <laughs> Please. Ah. Nope. Oh, but in the rock. <laughs> see, I, I have a very near, I want to see how close to the ball I can get without <laughs> touching it. I know, right? <laughs> Come on, that was going in the hole. Man, you with everything's got to be in a hole. Yeah, you have to stay away from my pink hole, Pedro. Hole is. It's, it's, yes, it's I want to put it in your pink hole, Jordan. I want to put it right there sensitive. in your pink hole. <laughs> and I don't, I don't oh consent to this. God. Jordan's got a brown hole. Well, you and Nori do it your first time up to you, but don't bring it in. Pedro's alone tonight, Pedro. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 I'm looking for the hole. Shut up. Foxy. I was hoping for the hole. Man, I got a <laughs> real good look at the bottom of that ball. It was Drunk pretty slow. tight, man. Yeah. <laughs> Bonk. Do I even have a point? Have I got the point? I will boop you into the ball if I have to, Scott. You, you have 80 points, dude. You're doing all right. You have more points than you. Yeah. I'm sucking ass. Oh, shit. I'm actually good. No, there's a hole there. There. <laughs> boop. There has to be a hole somewhere. Yes, there, there. Go. There's a <laughs> hole <laughs> over in at the, the Frankenstein place. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, it's true. Yeah, it's true story. Yes. That, that, that's not a lie. <laughs> a little bit of damage. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. I just want to hit the ball. Come on. Boop it. Yes. <laughs> Let me touch it. Please let me. Please let me touch the ball. I just want to touch the booty. Come on. Uh, wow. This is fox dog. <laughs> All right, Foxy. Remember that thing you were saying about, you know, keeping it to yourself. Right. <laughs> let, let, <let's... laughs> how's, how's it going, Foxy? Is everything all right? <laughs> Oh, lovely. It's like, no, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Need to touch some boobies. <laughs> it was a long week for Foxy, apparently. Hey, man, he, he made it almost through an entire stream without creeping. <laughs> <laughs> almost. 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 <laughs> oh, there we go. Wow. Insult injury acquired. Right at the zero. Right. Yeah. Shameful display. Shameful display. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, empty. Very good empty. Very good indeed. Yay. <laughs> Yay to our wonderful leprechaun. Yay, empty. <laughs> well, Pedro, you won by association. I'll give you that. I am in last place. <laughs> I was second place and I scored better than your whole team. <laughs> 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 that was good. Oh, that was very good, Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> it was well earned. 
<laughs> each damage is worth. I don't know how much that, but each I, damage is yeah, worth. Yeah, yeah. Say, don't you fucking pretend you know that, because I don't. <laughs> I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I think I think I think it's like ten per hex or some shit. Yeah, I think it's like ten, isn't it? <laughs> Something like that. Oh man! All right. Um... I know I saved the ball. I got two epic saves at one point, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what constitutes is it is it just like keeping it away from an open hole or I think like... it's uh, yeah, I think it's just You got to keep it away it's when it's from really the other close. Team's goal. <laughs> yeah. It's when it's really close to the other team's goal. If you scooch it away as it's going into the goal but it's far away, it's just a save. If it's mm. right there on the cusp, it's an epic save. At least that's how I interpret it from well, my experience. Thank you, Mr. Captain thank Science you. Professor. <laughs> Mr. Captain <laughs> Science <laughs> Professor <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Senpai. Yes. That's the thing, Jam. man. All right, beautiful people, we gotta bounce out of here. We have done our four hour nightmare tour of this train. It's gotta pull back at the station. We gotta recharge. Pedro, you have some bullshit waiting for people on Tuesday, right? Yes, it's, it's going to be. I did tech put together a very cheap PC. Yes, mm. yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I put together a ch very cheap PC, and I'm going to try and show it to people and what it can do, mm. because it is pretty cheap to game on Linux, apparently. <laughs> cheap? You, you, you don't you, Linux users don't want to pay for anything? Yes, <laughs> and if you keep that mentality and you go on eBay and you find cheap parts that perform very well, you get yourself a cheap gaming PC that works pretty good. <laughs> but I, I bought a bunch of expensive parts and put them like in the wrong place and whatever. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, I, at that point, I guess you can uh, play some uh, Curse of the Raven's Cry, but don't worry, there'll be some of that on Tuesday. I genuinely am curious. Do you think you can actually stream that game? I would. would I can stream it. DXVK from that to the um, HDMI capture card. <laughs> mm -hmm. so I know because I tested dual it PC today. Set up for fucking <laughs> yes. Curse of the Ravens cry. <laughs> right, man. Uh, thanks everybody. Hang it out. Uh, we're, we'll be in Discord. Uh, everybody, shut up. Drummer, Jill, Foxy, Mir, Mister Alert, North Ranger, Pennywise, Scott. Aren't empty. And also, Rohit, I know you're still listening, buddy. All right, Denifer, we'll see you. Next Peace. Week. <laughs> Night, everyone. Bye. Bye.